Mr. Transbo, bring me a dream. Make it the biggest lie that I've ever seen. Telling lies like a dope fiend. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Transbo Extravaganza Circus, Lalo, episode one. Analomo uno. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Grab your popcorn, take a seat, beat up the elephant trainers. Kick a fucking uh, whale trainer in the neck. Sit down and get prepared for some Habsburg chin music, boy. Kimbo, I beat Kimbo twice. Ate a slice of a lying little thing called Bullshit's Paradise. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Do you see the thumbnail here? We are the channels uh, we are using are uh, we are gonna watch something today at the Transbell Circus at the wonderful extravaganza around the world. This is your first episode of the Transbo Circus. We'll be using channels from Assassin of Darate, oh, the anointed king, Redzilla, your majesty. We also have a lot of laughs that are going to come on. Uh, check out this thumbnail here. This is called the Habsburg Chin. See this thumbnail in the corner that you're going to see? The Habsburg Chin. The Habsburg were a dynasty of, uh, of royals in Europe that did a lot of inbreeding. Uh, thus, we have the Habsburg Chin, that transbo. And he's also got the Slim Jesus little peep thing going in that video. We're going to check a lot of funny things out. Let's say hi to the chat first before we get into the, the wild extravaganza lies that is Tony Lilo Transbo Circus. Uh, let's listen to the rest of this tune. Let's let some people get in here. Smash the like button. Show Uncle MRE that people love him. People like him. I, I am very insecure. I, I need some hugs. I want peanuts thrown at me and cabbage. I want to be kicked and chased out of the town like the town leper. And then I want to be embraced by the people who abused me. Oh, the beginning part of that. Listen. <laughs> All right, now someone just grabbed a cane, threw it around my neck, and took me off stage. Oh, Enough of that. But let's get into the ugly reality of inbreeding, which I'm going to point out to you is the Habsburg chin or the Habsburg jaw. Google it, folks, because... This Whitaker right here, Tony Whitaker. Look up who the Whitakers are. Urf, 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 urf. He bots like a Dalmatian. Check out the chin and check out the Emmy Calamandria. I want to eat a crayon and stuff a dribble in my ass. Look, the tongue sticking out. It's the Grampy Ripper glasses he has on to protect his age. He's got the flat bill hat with all the stickers on it like a 12-year-old, folks. The bill is flat. The lies are flat. The soda's flat. Thank you very kindly, Still Game. Uh, this is one of the guy's channels right here. His, his link is in the description. Go check his shit out. Someone who never switches up. Straight integrity. Good guy. Sticks with his beliefs. And then, of course, we've got the King Red Zillops. Uh, where are you, Red? Mini Demucha, what's up? XX, what's going on? Montauk. What's up, bro? Oh, here's Lord Joffrey Baratheon. <laughs> He's not a Lannister, folks. He's definitely not a Lannister. 
He's not a Lannister. Justice for Alan Kaiser. Make sure you always hashtag justice for Alan Kaiser and we push back. Always. Always. What's up, Cuban B, my buddy? What's up, man? Free Cuba. Assault squadron, boy. Uh, thank you, Maddie. Uh, make sure you all, if, I'm sure you're all sub to Maddie's channel, but if you're not, make sure you do. And there is the king. There's the king. The king is back. It's still, it's not the same. Trans was awful, fucking lame. Uh, Red, uh, King Red over here, King Zilla, is set off with the head. And when the king speaks, the subjects must do what he says. Uh, what's up? Uh, Pain Like Bane's got a great channel. Check out Pain Like Bane, Kimbo twice, Kimbo once. Kimbo twice. It's just another filthy day in Transwell Paradise. Lie once. Lie twice. It's just another shitty day in Transwell Paradise. I can't sing, though. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oliver, great person right there. Great channel. James, what's up, bro? Montauk. Simping ain't easy, but somebody got to do it. Simping ain't easy, but somebody's got to do it. Uh, grazie, Sassino. You, know, you don't got to do that, brother. Thank you very kindly. Make sure you check them out. Burn till I die. What's up, brother? Uh, Transmog should be la to la da, la to la da. We push back hat. I got the same hat on right now as we speak. Well, it's next to me. It's not on my head. So I'm technically lying. <laughs> He's a liar. Transmo. Bobby Styles. What's up, Bobby? God bless you. There's a We Push Back YouTube channel. Make sure everybody gives that a sub. Uh, I, I'll put that link in the description too, but the We Push Back YouTube channel link is in the description. Ah, uh, what's up, Faye? We got our Scotland people in the uh in the house. She's got a channel too. Check it out. What's up? Uh G Gambio, uh Bella Rose, how you doing? Uh Emmy's yeah, yo. Ah, the reins of Casimir. And who are you? The proud liar said that you must bullshit so low. Only a liar of a different cloak is the only lies Transbo knows. A bullshitter of gold, a bullshitter of red. Transbo pays for whores. And his chin is long and Habsburg, my lord, as long as inbred is yours. Kid Rock, you don't stop. Agnostic, what's up, buddy? One of my favorite, the only agnostic person I like. He's got a great avatar. Good people right there. Good morals. Great people. Uh, hold on a minute. Did you shoot J.I. Ewing? Yes, I did. Of course I did. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And I also shot Bobby Ewing in the foot. And then I healed his foot. Uh, and it was all, I just forgot about it. Yeah, forgot about it. But I don't know. I went to Nazi Landon. I went to Nazi Landon just like Bobby. Just like Bobby. Uh, devil sailor now. My name is Robert Kennedy. And, and I want him all right to be my running mate. Pretty Monica, what's up, pretty lady? God bless you. Rap Wiles and King Corso, check out his channel. Silo is muscle, and so is Whippa. Oh, we're going to also get in a, in a shout out to that maniac weirdo, fucking weird, crazy son of a bitch, Tony Pizza. I'm also going to play the that video where Pizza really puts the ripper on blast. Mick, what's up, man? Yeah, uh, without a doubt. God bless you, Mick. The real Top Gun right there. Not Maverick. Uh, Trey, how you doing? Jack B. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Tony uh, Ripper flow tried to grab his... Donald, what's up? JJ, what's going on, JJ? Hold on a second. So people can't block nobody because I want to see if people poo that stuff with me. Hold on. I can't do it right now. I will ranch you up later. If anybody does get blocked, you didn't miss nothing, Rat Trap. Make sure you sub to Rat Trap's channel. Make sure people sub to Uncle Edwin's channel. Make sure everybody subs. If somebody can drop Uncle Edwin's, uh, Jim and his, uh channel in there. Uncle Edwin's a great guy. Uh, everybody should support him. What's up, Dan? Make sure everybody supports uh, Uncle Edwin. So we get on the road here. Enough of my gibbering. Enough of this friggin' weirdo talking, which I mean myself. All right, let's get into the, the transbow. 
And once again, this is Lila Whitaker. Go Google the Whitakers. A lot of barking going on. A whole lot of barking going on. Let's get in. Some type of surgery uh, uh, when you were in New York? Yeah, I was in mixed martial arts for 32 years. And I've decided, that's it. I'm retired. I do like exhibitions now. Oh, so did I you hear that? No. Everybody said, <laughs> he, well, he said he was this boxer. Now he's a mixed martial. This guy is a compulsive liar. Now he's a mixed martial artist for 37 years. <laughs> What's next, Transbo? I thought you were the boxer and all that shit. This guy's a fucking liar. Let's listen to that one more time. Run that back, Transbo. Run that back. When you were in New York? Yeah, I was a mixed martial artist for 32 years. And I've decided, that's it. I'm retired. I do like exhibitions. All right, Mitch, he does exhibitions with pins in your neck. You have pins in your neck. How do you do... Mix martial arts when you have pins in your neck and all these surgeries. Uh, and how are you going to fight FBI? How are you going to go fight Piggy, dude? It's nuts. Now, oh, so yeah. I'm getting everything fixed. So I had the whole front of the neck fixed, and I needed right? to have a couple of extra screws put in the front. What did he say? He had a few. I had the, uh, I had the front of the nuts fixed. Then I had to put a few extra screws in it. What is he talking about? Let's go over this one more time with Tony Seuss. And why all these guys Tonys? Like, oh, they love picking these fake names as Tonys. Like, these fucking weirdos. Oh, let me go get a refreshing coffee for a second. He's not going to stop lying just like he did before. Tony Transbo is also the president of Liars Anonymous. He started Liars Anonymous. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell. Don't tell. All right, let's go back here. Let's listen to Tony Whitaker. Transbo, or as, as the king calls it, Transbo. Fixed. So I had the whole front of the neck fixed, and I needed to. Oh, uh, what's up, James Trock? Josie, Minnie Demucha. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Let's run this back and listen to some sweet transbo music. Sweet transbo music. Any old time he chews it. Making lies up like he won't lose it. Hangs with a ripper and Shaw sure will abuse it. Use them women, ripper. This guy, I'm here, I'm here to defend the women. I'm here to defend the women. But I'm going to go hug a guy with se second degree sexual assault. Currently stalking women in this community, putting some security numbers out. And he bragged about beating a woman with a bull stick. But I'm all about the women. Save the women. Fucking clown. So that's it. I'm retired. I do like exhibitions now. Oh, yeah. So I'm getting everything fixed. So I had the whole front of the neck fixed. And I needed to have a couple of extra screws put in the front. So what they did is they went to the back and they put another 18 pins in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about me. Listen, I don't know much about doctor stuff. And I just don't know. What does he mean by it? They had to put, they had to go in and put new nuts in the front. Is that why you got balls on your chin? Is that why you got testicles protruding from your chin? I don't get it. What does he mean by that? Well, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. He's the one that called Dr. Bullshit good. He's the one that's going, all right. He, he's going to be your lion star. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, this, this is the worst one. Listen, I've had almost every injury. Oh, oh no. He's going to tell us the worst one. It was a pain in the ass. You know, Jimmy Calamandre had some pains in the asses, and they were sweet little gerbils who should have been free. Free those gerbils and hamsters from Jimmy's grasp and Jimmy's ass. Wipe the Vaseline off their back. Let their hair grow back as they should. I'm not a singer, so yeah, Cringe City, MRE comes from Cringe Town, USA, but I'm aware of that. Lilo, Transbo, Whitaker, you don't, you don't know. You could have, this is the worst I thought. I could imagine. I, could I wanted imagine. to tell you, I gave you, Angel, six months, five times the other night about Barbarella. Remember? About Barbarella, about Barbarella. I hate rats, but I love rats. I'm under John Panisi's video, sucking them off. I'm under John Panisi's video, going, hey, Ghost Boy. Hey, Ghost Boy, John Panisi, another person who loves beating women. You know, John Panisi loves burning women's hair and knocking their teeth out. But hey, I like him. He's a good guy. I love rats. I'm a mob group. I'm a fanboy. Fanboy. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yes, you did. Yes, you okay, did. there's an attorney. I'm just going to give you his initials. M.M. Uh -huh. my attorney as well. You guys like Eminem? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I repeat. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? 
Act like you've never seen a 70-year-old bullshitter before. Come in the door, balls on his chin, drop right to the floor. Telling lies worse than before. I don't know the rest of the song, so let's just go on. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. They say they want him in there to get next to Passport again. What? That's the only reason he got any time. What so is he talking about? What does Transbo have brunch with the judges? Where did Transbo get this intel? MI6? Mossad, CIA. Where does Trambo get his intel? Tony Lilo. What is he talking about? They wanted to put him and him next to each other. So when Gene's sleeping, big fat rat squaw can put his fingers up his backside. You've been watching Uncle MRE for a long time, huh, Transbo? You're trying to pick up the young, cool hip words. It's not going to work, Pappy. Go get a snappy. Fucking Liberace loving motherfucker. Yeah. To get next to passport again. That's the only reason he got any time. So a lot of the stories that are going around are bullshit. What does that even mean? Can we? Can someone help me decipher this mystery? Can we decipher? Can can we talk? Can we break this knot like Alexander did? What is he talking about? Who put him there? And how would you know this transbo? Gerard, Gerard, my friend. What's up, buddy? Make sure you guys uh, go check out Gerard, Gerard. Great stoic over there great philosopher and his father was a fucking genius yeah i remember you saying that yes, you did. Yes, you okay did. there's an attorney i'm just gonna give you his initials mm he's my attorney as well. oh okay his name is marshall mathers he doesn't get along with his mother very well he does have a very beautiful daughter named Haley, but he doesn't get along with her at all at all they say they want him in there to get next to passport again that's the only reason he got any time all right, let's think about that. Why, like, why would the Fed send a rat in to go into another rat to see what he wants to know? Like, this makes no sense. They could just ask Rat Squaw. Why would they put Borello next to Rat Squaw when they can just? These guys are known stool pigeon liars. They would just tell him. <laughs> what his attorney is the yellow one with the red nose. <laughs> Shy your yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Um, so a lot of the stories that are going around are bullshit. Listen, a lot of the stories going around are bullshit. Maybe that's you, Habsburg Chen, little baby Augie. Yeah, they, yeah. Want, they want this kid back in there, and he is a piece of garbage. Trust me, I know him from the neighborhood for many, many years. He's really? He knows him from the neighborhood for many, many years. This guy knows every fucking, this guy is the biggest wise guy hump, fucking fanboy, mob groupie, you'll ever ever me in a million fucking years and put it this and i believe that friggin rat squaw and tonto borello are in two different prisons they're in two different facilities transbo i am the retard in the neighborhood ruff ruff i am the retard in the neighborhood telling lies tell me lies tell me transbo little lies fucking goof he's not but garbage okay, okay. But they want this to get near Frank Pasqua again. Huh? So something's going on that they want Pasqua. Take it. It's a big thing. It's a huge, huge thing. Huge. I'm telling you. Less about Barella, to be honest with you. When they make a deal with the devil, they make a deal with the devil. And it's done. What a fucking liar! And now here's the famous Habsburg Gen. <laughs> uh, I believe this is Charles. Uh, I forget which king this is. Charles or one of them. But there was a few of these ugly sons of bitches with the Habsburg Gen. Habsburg jaw, and I want to show you the Habsburg. Now, this ain't just some chubby flubber blubber at the end of his neck. This ain't no turkey gobble gobble, okay? This is a straight up Habsburg chin, Habsburg jaw. That is amazing. I wonder if his parents were first cousins or well, brother and sister. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Not sure. And Transbo, don't cry. You're talking about my family. You're on. Uh, we're gonna show when I play, show you Assassino's video. That's gonna be the grand finale at the end. After we after we stream the King Red's video, King Zilla's videos, we will show you the Assassino video. That was fucking epic. Nikki the Wop, what's up, brother? Shout out to my boy Nikki the Wop, Nikki Capones, if he's out there too. Uh, Eric Oates, what's going on, man? Billy the Kid, what's up? JJ Fedora. What's up, everybody? 
What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Mr. Lilo, bring me a scheme. Let me go on YouTube and tell all these fucking dreams. Let me catfish people and lie like a fiend and suck off a bunch of men like Liberace. Well, I'm There's this guy on here, now. Scott Brown. You know who this guy is? You know who this guy is because I watch every show. I don't even leave my house. All I do is Slayer Mob Tube. What's up? XX. All I do is watch YouTube all day. Every day, all day. I watch it. Even though I own five businesses. I own seven to 25 businesses around the world. This guy's a bullshitter. This guy's been watching this community since it's in conception. Okay? He knows everything. You're going to see him. In, he's in all these rats chats. He's a fucking rat lover. Don't let him act like he's not a rat lover. Number one, you hang out with a sex offender. Any man who would go meet a sex offender. Now, maybe the guy's not registered because of the state, but in my world, I uh, shout out to Taiwan. In my world, if any man has sexual crimes against a child or a woman, in my world, you're a sex offender, okay? Secondary sexual assault. So anybody saying, it's, it's all about the women. It's all about the women. If it's all about the women, why are you going near fucking Harambe? Of all people, the Ripper. Because it's not about the women. You can give a fuck less. What about, uh, if it's all about the women, what about the woman who's getting tortured right now? There's a few of them getting tortured. Social security numbers, all kinds of shit. What about that, Transbow? You don't care about them, huh, groupie? Lost 20 rounds. Good evening. Yeah, that's right. Two aggravated sexual battery. Two stalking. And he was probably innocent of the rape, guys. Listen, he went and beat that woman with a pool stick. It's called witness intimidation. He bragged about it. So, you're so Transbo, you're hanging out with a guy. Okay? You're hanging out with a guy who, who's admitted to beating a woman to pull. So you're a fucking phony fanboy with your Habsburg chin. Great video, Redzilla. Let's turn that back. Ha <laughs> ha, Whitaker. Let's get Whitaker. Whitaker. Earth, Earth. Let's get Whitaker. To get next to passport again. That's the only reason he got any time. So a lot of the stories that are going around are bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. They want this kid back in, there, and he is a piece of garbage. Trust me, I know him from the neighborhood for many, many years. He's nothing but garbage. So where is this guy from? Didn't he say he was like a Philadelphia person? All these other different. Uh, he knows everybody in by the Now this guy had the balls to say, "There's no Italians up in Boston. What do you mean? And you're all in Providence, not Boston. I know Providence guys. I know a lot of Providence guys. Yeah, <laughs> sure you do." Goofball. Even if you do, they're giving you the wrong info, boy. I'm blowing smoke up your ass. What happened to all the threats, Transbo? You and the Ripper. Okay. okay. But they want this kid to get near Frank Pasqua again. For what? So something's going on that they want Pasqua. They could care less about Barella, to be honest with you. When they make a deal with the devil, they make a deal with the devil and it's done. Well, I'm There's a guy on here. Scott Brown? You know who this guy is? No. Who the fuck is Scott Brown? What the shit? I don't understand. Uh, what's up, Mike Boston? What's up, Itty Bitty Nita? What's up, NB? What's up, Tina the Whale? What's up, Cuban B? Uh, Tracy, uh, he's the Ramundi out of New York. <laughs> what's up, Taiwan Vlogs? That's my buddy from Taiwan. You didn't know I had connections in Asia over there? How do you think I get my pork fried rice, motherfucker, delivered on a plane by a drone? I see. Go back up there a little bit. I ain't What's up, Mario? Let me run that back. Because these videos ain't long. The Assassino video is 14 minutes. That's going to be extravaganza. But I want this to go a little bit. And and my StreamYards is working good. I don't want to curse myself. It's working good. I can click over and put up a friggin' comment now. Like, real quick. Look at that. Face looks like a ball bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bow tie. Oh, yeah, he's like the broad. Well, he's emotional like a... Like a pregnant woman he's all up in his feels he's all up in his feels he's very emotional let's see what he says about scott brown now scott brown's probably just some guy in the chat who said something about him the transbell can't deal with it a bit 
I ain't I'm never mentioned I'm nothing about born. that. That's why I don't use that name, Tommy. And I'll give you all my emails and my private numbers. This? I get Tommy, I'll give you all my e and a shout out to Tommy Real Deal. Always in my prayers, Tommy. God bless you. Tommy's a good guy. Uh, but this guy is just blowing smoke up. I, I give you all my numbers, my email, no, no. Just like I catfish Joe and Kane. Catfish them totally. They're liars. Catfish. When did the bricks first come up in front of the Ravenite Club? No, no, no. He said something very, very derogatory. That oh, I like. oh, I found it. This one? What does it say? When did you get straightened out? Oh, my God. Uh, he got straightened out when he went and met the Ripper. Uh, <laughs> well, he straightened out the Ripper, I would say, because uh, the Ripper is a, bo a, a bottom boy. He's a top. The Ripper is the bottom. Picture what plastic fucking <laughs> plastic perverted things that were stuck in their orifices. Okay, have you ever heard me mention anything about that, say anything no. about that, do anything no. about that? Absolutely not. No. So I'm going to tell you, Mr. Brown, you're not like, how, like he, he loves this. This guy is the biggest whore, glaw, whorey glaw. Um, I, I can't say it right, glory whore. All he wants to do is sit up there and tell everybody how great he is. He doesn't let no one talk, I hear. And that's why, and I also got Paps Cole ripping him apart. We're also going to watch that next. Paps Cole, Passive Tops and Power Bottoms. That's a great one, Skull Brother. Passive Tops and Power Bottoms this Wednesday on Geraldo. Oh, my God. Apparently, I'm NB2 and from – listen, everybody in here is from Providence and Boston. We are all Bostonians and Providence and Rhode Islanders and Providence people, all of us. Even if you're not from there, now you are. But a clown. Yeah. Okay? And I got about 50 things in my neck right now. I'd still kick your ass all over a parking lot wherever you'd like to meet. All right, now hear that. He's got 50 things in his neck. How are you going to go fight FBS? And I also seen the fake paperwork you pulled up. Like, I mean, look, I'm going to fight FBS. How are you going to fight anybody with fucking 50 pins in your neck? 50 pins. Well, 50 things in your neck. I didn't say it. I don't have a problem with people who, who are. But well, for you to say something like that, you ain't nothing but a punk bitch, you know. Yeah, and, he's dragging out. I don't go to people who always means like straightened up. This guy's the biggest. He loved that. He loved. Why do you think he picked that question out of the chat to answer? He wants people to think he's some sort of connected guy with connections. Tim C, what's up, brother? Aegon, what's up? He wants you to think that. He's a fucking fanboy liar. Look like he, well, we're gonna show you how he also lied to the kid Johnny Bloodsport or Combat Johnny. And that's why I do use the name I use on here. And I and, and all you gotta do is ask Peter who, what my real last name is. Just ask Peter what my real last name is. Just that yeah. Number one, if you're coming out showing your face, bragging about all of your achievements and all this stuff, you fought Kimbo twice, not once, but twice. Uh, the guy who fought Holyfield, the guy for Tyson, all the lies. How, show your face. You can't be well known because no one spotted you yet. Why wouldn't you just tell your fucking name? Like, you don't have to. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, come on, give me a fucking break. Give me a break. We still know exactly what. Hank, all you got to do is Peter. Who? I don't know. I what my real last name is. He'll know exactly what it is. To say something like that about him. Uh, you see, now I understand why you get upset and I try and tell you guys. But, but Transbo, you call somebody a rat with no proof, Transbo, and you're some kind of like street guy, tough guy, you're a clown, dickhead. Don't get upset. You're a fucking clown. Hi, <laughs> Transbo has been given Harambe information on people, and yes, he has. And I'm going to show you the Tony R. Beats video that was well done. A masterful stroke by the maniac fucking Tony R. Beats. Masterful stroke, without a doubt. Now, look at the Just for Old Men or Just for Liars hair fucking dye he's got in his head. He's like a little ginger. He's a ginger. Not against gingers. Love my gingers. But he's a ginger who's... He should just shave his head. And look at the whole fucking 
fanboy get up take the glasses off get the shirt open you fucking old bastard just in my own show Ah, Nikki the Wop, dude, you come up with some great shit. Just for gimps, it's just for gimps instead of just for men. Just for gimps, that's some fucking shit. Yeah, that's right, B one. He did. This guy came around, just started making up lies. Look what he told Johnny Combat, dude. He told him I wanted to punch him. It's like what the fuck? I didn't even remember who Johnny was until he came on the screen, and then I recognized his face after a second or two. Of him talk, I'm like, oh, all right, I remember this dude. It's like, why would I want to punch this fucking guy up? Even say any number one, I don't threaten to punch people on YouTube. And why would I like even make fun of the guy? Why? Like, he never did nothing to me, but he was just nice to me. This guy's just a fucking liar. He lies about everything. Doesn't he look like a retarded James Khan in the movie Misery right here? He looks like after James Caan was taken hostage by Annie Wilkes. Misery after that. He, he looks fucked up, boy. So we do have one of the seals. That's definitely MRE. Listen. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. And this LARPer over here, I mean, his background is a bunch of knights and suits and armor and all that shit. You LARPing freak, at least when I LARP, I really LARP. I do have armor and fucking helmets. But that's how I do have armor and helmets and that shit. You're a straight LARPer. Look at these men. Look at this guy. Anybody that can sit on the screen with this fucking sex offender, uh, uh, man, second degree sexual battery and assault. Disgusting. Let's listen to him give up some uh, information. They want to find out who everybody is. Listen, people who try to look people up and find out who everybody is, people in chats, all this shit, fucking sick. And that's all Harambe does. And Assassino's going to break it down beautifully. Just wait. Yeah. The Zio, which Zio was that one? Because like, I can't see it in, the, in what you sent me. And they think, Z, like, these guys are so stupid. Me, Zio, Maddie, and Leso have been on stream together about, I don't know how many fucking times, like 40 times. I, I don't know. Like, give me a break. If... <laughs> How could there's no way you can talk at the same time? Listen to how dumb he is. Just listen. I'll stop the Z for a minute. I kayate for a minute. It was the little guy, it was the one in the bottom. <laughs> is that the because one of them calls himself Uncle? It's G the one on the bottom. No, that's Jimmy Calamandria. What do they call I don't even know what they call each other. Man. Let me look it up. Let me look it up real quick because I'm not even sure. And, and people, for those who don't know what we're talking about here. Yeah, man, we got we, we got him. We got one of the zeals. Here yeah, we go. man, we got him. You know, let me tell you something. If YouTube enforce, what's up, Scottish Deb? If YouTube enforce their rules, because let me tell you something. This goes against YouTube's rules. This Harambe chimp ass freak stalker scumbag wouldn't be on YouTube. He'd have no content. He's boring. He's not funny. Like Assassino says, they have no banter. They can't bant. All they can do is say disgusting things and dox people. He would have no show, honestly. Here we go. Listen. You're listening to us. Um, hit that like button. If you guys did not please on the way out. Who the fuck is that? What, 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 on your way out. Once you hear him say on your way out, hear, hear that voice. That's one of the people. That's one of the. No, that stand up guy, you dumb prick. That's Sug. That's S U G. That's stand up guy, you dummy. Videos without the voice changer. Listen, I'm going to mute myself for one second. I got to take a screenshot of something. Yeah, no. Wait. I thought Tony's a, a phony, phony little Tony. Tony the phony baloney. Phony Tony loves the baloney. I thought you don't know how to do that. You don't know how to do screenshots and screen save. You're just a, I'm just a caveman. I know nothing about your society. I'm just an unfrozen caveman lawyer. Well, should we say bullshitter? I thought you didn't know about all that. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, this guy, if it, listen, this guy's trolling this community. He's leaving comments and stuff like that. This guy is lying about people calling them specs and stuff. Nobody called his wife that. I don't even believe it. Show the screenshot. You just proved you know how to show screenshots 
and screen saving. So why didn't you save them screenshots? And I'm sure tonight you'll go uh, in your uh, sock account and call your wife that and put it on there. But you're full of shit, man. I'll say that again. Holy shit. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Where's your banana, Havambe? Unbelievable. Montauk, Dell, what's up, my brothers from Scotland? Shout out to all my UK. Bill Jordan, one of my oldest subs, too. Shout out, man. Damn it, Mandy! Damn it! You're listening to us. Um, hit that like button if you guys did not. Please, on the way out. See, that's stand-up guy. That's fucking S-U-G. That's not fucking... Ah, Baxi Jimmy! What's up, Baxi? What's up, bro? Oh, after this stream, I'll go and wrench people that are not wrenched. Oh, yep, that's it, bro. Thank you everybody for stopping in here and listening. I know what Rhett, what Kingzilla here is showing you is the same thing that they're showing you. And now, listen, listening to us, um, Don't even hit that like button if you guys did not, please. On the way out, the super chat's going. We got it all who the fuck is that? Let, let, is mute your mic. Super chat's going. We got it all going. And that's up there just to show you, fuck face. Super chat's going. Yep. We got it. See, that's fucking stand up guy, dude. Not them. What's up, Tony Ubots? What's up, bro? That's not like these guys, these fucking dumb Gen X boomers are so fucking stupid. These guys don't know shit. They want you to think that, uh, that the Ripper, Harambe, some hacker. Nah, these people probably pay people to do shit, but they don't know how. He's a fucking dope. Who the fuck is that? Let, let... Is we got super chats going. We got it all going. And that's up there just to show you fuck. See, it was still oh, it. It. We, got him. Look, we got him. Zia was. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, what happened was Zia was watching Stand Up Guy, and that's what they heard. And they're like, we got him. We got him. Fucking Harambe. Climb a tree, Harambe, and bounce a coconut off your head. You got you know, see, remember, people, this guy, this guy's a troll. See, this guy's our number one mission, right? This guy's our number one mission. Like, and this guy is the walking hypocrisy. If anybody says he's not a hypocrite, you're a fucking retard. He calls himself, I fight against cyber bullies. Dude, ever since you've been in here, all you've been doing is doxing, looking people up, torturing women. Look what you did to Josie, for Christ's sakes. You took her social security and other people's socials, too. You took them. You torture people. Look what you did to uh, Angel Gotti's children. Look what you did to all these people out there as families. Jesus Christ. And then when they do it to you and call up, uh, what was uh, that maniac doing, calling the work? Can you blame him? You tortured Tony Pizza's mom. Tony's Pizza's mom is an 80-year-old woman. She don't deserve that. That was heartbreaking listening to, to these people torture an old woman. Man, as much as I hate Harambe, I would never call up his mother. I don't know if his mom's alive or dead. Uh, I would never call up this dude's mother or Tina's mother and caress some old lady. It's just not, it's like, that's bad shit. God don't like that, bro. And none of these, these people don't believe in God. They say they do. These are, listen, that's why, listen, if you think every religious person is a good person, you're wrong. These are people, it's like this loser hides by religion, hides behind it, and he's the biggest hypocrite, phony. It's to trolling is to be anonymous. He came, he came from another community as an anonymous. He came to this community to be anonymous. Once he got outed. This guy is one low IQ motherfucker. What he, you know, what he, he likes to be anonymous. That's what he did. He created another persona, the zeal. And he used a voice changer. Wow. Was this recorded? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. There's a couple of accounts out there also that are, that are his. Hey, what's up, Kim's Trippin'? Make sure you sub to my friend Kim's Trippin's channel. Uh, we're going to uh, maybe once a week or once every few weeks, I'm going to go over there and we're going to cover some locales and like the pop community and stuff like that, different things. And also, uh, I got to get a hold of Aegon and Joff and do some Song of Ice and Fire streams too. And also, uh, Rat Trap City, me and him are going to cover some history stuff. So give RTC Skull Brother a sub. Uh, what's up, Mob Two Chronicles, Josie? This is the woman right here who is currently being stalked. She's an author, uh, a content creator, currently being stalked. They took her social security number. Why does my buddy Mob Rats want? He's got a great channel, too. 
uh, content creators being stalked, and this guy is trying to bully her into being her friend. He's trying to bully her into being his friend and drop the charges. Like, dude, that's stalking. But he's trying to use third and fourth parties. It's ridiculous. Oh, and this chat's going so fast. He docks another wrong family member. This, oh, he's not Mexican. He's Cuban. He's a Cuban drunk. He's a he's a fucking drunk. He probably sits there all day getting bombed. Tony, that would the, tell him Tony the circle one. Tony, Tony the circle one. Look at these geniuses. These are low IQ beta males. Fucking group. Look at that just fucking hump with the cigar in his mouth and his avatar. Boy, does he wish he was a fucking wise guy. We all know that they don't exist no more. Those days are over. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send you that right now. Say it again, bro. Well, I just texted you. So look, he's they're texting each other. They're texting each other and sending information. So now, when people, I, I don't, I don't suggest nobody to do this, and I would never do it. But when people start fucking with your family, Lilo, when they start fucking with your family, and God forbid they don't put up your dead relatives like they did mine, don't fucking cry about it. Don't fucking cry about it. You're on here exchanging information, trying to find people. All people, when you try to like try to find and torture these people, though they've done that to people in my chat. It's fucking bullshit. FBS did. Uh, he, he did uh, to that poor guy Albert, who took who takes care of his elderly mother. And man, I don't blame the guy for coming unsubbing and not coming around no more. I don't blame one bit. Fucking bullshit. If the people did that to the people in their chats, you fucking idiots. One with the circle around it is the one. Oh. What idiots? I want to hit on that comment for a second. Hold on a second. Where is that? I never heard this person before. You got that right, Emery. Uh, the Ripper is not a man because he's just a bully. If someone knocked at his door, he would run. Of course he would. Of course he would. He'd sit around shooting Joe. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, Josie, he thinks he's in a tra They're so stupid. So stupid. He thinks he's on these people. Yeah, he's just a retard. Remember Trammell family, YouTube, where to go, blocked. Trammell family, all the way. Well, listen, when people do that, like I always say, like I always say, what happens? It gives people the fucking, the reason to do it to you. The Ripper is a virus. Like I said, anybody that can listen, I get some women making peace with him behind the scenes and saying, leave my family alone. I get that, right? No problem. Everyone can understand that, right? But to deal with these, anybody dealing with these people, going in their chats, having them on their channels, all shit, should all be ashamed of themselves. They should be ashamed of themselves. This is a man who's got vicious charges like that and bragged about beating women and he's as we speak he's t stealing women's social security numbers and threatening them and they are now trying to bully josie into being his friend he's trying to do that uh, those brits are pretty stubborn man those brits they got a stiff up a lip those brits ain't gonna crack harambe oh this guy yes uh, the lesser lesser the hitman the hitman oh they just called lesser a hitman like, dude, Leso's been a baseball man. Well, they don't know where he's been a baseball coach for years. He has been a baseball coach and a master chef for years, stupid. Fucking idiot. Oh, so what he does? You think that's him? So what does he do? Have we ever heard MRE and Leso speaking at the same time? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. No one's heard me and Leso. Of course they did. A million times. Has anybody here heard MRE? everybody for stopping in here Let me show you and this is maddie marinieri's channel i hope everybody's uh sub to maddie maddie and the zeos trios great people 1987 johnson high school i say no more listening to us um hit that like button if you guys did not please on the way out make sure if you're in my chat right now uh, show some love and even if you don't like me show how much you hate liars and rippers hit that like button please Super chats going. We got it all Who the going. fuck is that? We got super chats going. We got it all going. And that's up there just to show you fuck face. Yeah, <laughs> let's mute your mic. 
Yeah, see, he's saying mute your mic because Zio is listening to Stand Up Guy. And like everybody knows, like, come on, me and Stand Up Guy's got the two cringiest voices in, uh, out of all YouTube. Well, this little genre, whatever you want to call it. Nobody sounds more cringy than me and Stand Up Guy. We have the worst voices. You can tell our voices anywhere. Why, no chat? Me and Stand Up Guy don't have the most distinct fucking Arnold Horshack froggy fucking voices. What's up, Degosta? What's up, bro? Benson Hurst, you're in here. You're not blocked, bro. You're not blocked. Trolls! Oh, no! Fucking... They're going to do illegal fights, and they want to sit there... Uh, this is great right here, folks. This is a great, great one. And uh, a shout-out to old Paps Cole right here. Look, at he can't deal with it no more. Look at Pat. He can't deal with the bullshit. He's, he knows he's a liar. He's just being respectful because he's friends with the host and them. He knows he's full of shit. And look, he's like, he's like, can't deal with it no more. He just can't deal with it no more. And yeah, I and Tranbo like wasn't even talking about Lee. And I, man, I think maybe even Lee knew that. He just probably couldn't deal with the lies no more. And he wanted to put this guy on blast. And plus, what I hear is Tranbo takes over everything. It doesn't let nobody talk. It's all gonna be about little miss little miss little miss transball wrong. It's gotta always be about little miss transball, about little pretty and fucking dink. About punching people in the face in the street. You can defend yourself in the street. Remember that little bit. Like, what does he mean? You can def of course anybody can defend themselves in a the street. What's up, Finian? Michael Collins. What's up, Michael Collins? Big fella, what's up? Every widow, whore, and orphan could always count on you. Shout out to an R.I.P. to Michael Collins. Right, Tony, are you talking to me? Are you, what's your problem, dude? Just, I'm not even talking why, about why, you. Why are you I holding your breath? He's not talking to you. There you go. Yeah, he's talking specifically to me. What if uh, I heard that he wasn't, but it doesn't matter. Paps rips into him greatly and calls him, and he says it's true. Everybody knows you're a bullshit. Everybody does. Even if you don't, listen, you don't have to fucking, uh, it's just because you don't like me or somebody else to, to believe, to believe this guy's stories, you've got to be fucking stupid. I'm sorry. You have to be stupid. A, a low IQ, average probably about 65 IQ, I'm guessing. Think about it. How could you believe? We've heard stories of, he was a professional boxer, amateur boxer, he fought Kimbo. Not once, but twice. Just another day in Tony Lilo's paradise. Lie once, lie twice. Chicken soup at rest. I'm not going to sit here and take your shit, dude. You might have these other people fooled, but you don't have me fooled. <laughs> you might have these other people fooled, but you don't have me fooled. That's just, what did I fucking say to you? Listen to that again. That's great. You might have all these other people fooled. But you don't have me fooled. What did I fucking say to you? What did I say to you? You believe this guy, you go right up. Thing to me is enjoyable. Okay? People are making, like I said, I was the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I fought eight garbage can bouts. All right, now that's amazing. Right here, he's trying to like like backtrack and all the bragging and all the embellishing lying that he did. I was I was nothing. I only fight uh, what happened to fighting Tyson? Training with Tyson and growing up with Tyson, uh, getting beat by the guy who knocked out or beat Mike Tyson twice. That can only be a fan of Holyfield. And you did say you were Vinnie Madalone because all that shit is from Vinnie Madalone's career. Uh, come on, what about the Kimbo slice? Two fights, not once, but twice. He's once, twice, two times a bullshitter, and you'll always be transvo to me. Nobody ever asked about that. They want to ask what I did in the gym. Oh, fuck yourself. And nobody would ever ask about that. They want to ask. They want to ask about what I did in the gym. You know, when I was sucking off Harambe in the gym and all of his friends. This guy's a bullshit artist. <laughs> what a and look at this cringy avatar smoking a cigar. You can hardly see his age. He's trying to look like he's young. Young at heart, and if you can lie until you're 105 and deny all the shit you did when you was alive, and here is the best part. 
that you are full of shit from the start and I can't sing nothing at all. You know? Come on now. You know, sometimes reality's got to hit realistic. And realistic yeah, is... Uh, reality's got to hit realistic. Hmm, transpo. Hmm. You got to have airtime and work on another thing altogether. What? But think you heard something you didn't hear because you were... You got to have airtime and work on things to... What the fuck is Transbo Whitaker talking about? Habsburg Chen. What are you talking about, you inbred Whitaker? Dirt, you, are you related to Dirty Castle? Are you related to the castles? Wow, he's he lies as much as Durkey. Well, maybe not as well. A short race, Dirk might got him beat by an inch, but this guy lies just like Durkey, man. What a bullshit artist! You're paying zero mind to the program you had to sit on. No, I'm on potato. Look, it looks like he was just fun. they had to feed him applesauce. He's digging in his ass. Look at his fingers are in his ass. This guy's disgusting. As he eats a fucking, what is he eating? A pomegranate? Fucking idiot. With Dr. Pepper stuck under his arm. <laughs> oh, he, he, he is going down his flames. This guy is the biggest low cow ever. This guy is a huge low cow. Who put that up? Uh, it wasn't Jack. You know, I think it was Bats. He's going down flames. The big, of course he is. The biggest bullshit artiste. He is the Picasso. He is the Picasso of bullshit. Oh my! Yeah, doesn't he look like they ghost? So that's perfect. Shy Hooker, what's up, bro? Uh, make sure you check out Shy Hooker's channel. If anybody's looking to have some laughs, leave some negative comments on Emmy. We're going to check out Emmy this week and see how bad his views and things are going down. Hey, well, there, there I am. Oh, no, I typed it. <laughs> when it's popping. What's up, Zio? Uh, any, and uh, after he plays videos, I will ask any if they remember any lies that Transbo did that I didn't see or anything like that. Any lies that I missed? <laughs> And we need people to go back into those transbo streams that he used to do and just grab all that shit. Just listen to transbo. Let li let phony Lilo talk, phony Lilo transbo talk. And you're just going to hear more stories, more lies. Just let him rip. Just let him fucking go and screenshot, uh, screen record it, put him on a channel, or just pop, give him to Uncle MRE over here. I will make do. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? All right, now this is actually demented, and this is a great job by our beats, man. Tony Pizza, I think, is a fucking raving lunatic madman, but he got him right here. I don't know if there's some like fucking genius mastermind in Pina's Pizza's brain with this, but look how Pizza get them, man. Uh, what's up, Nick? Got what's up, man? A oh, good Mario M. Centrulo Terrifica, what's up, Calm? CEO took a break back from smoking. Uh, after this stream, I'm going to go and wrench some people. I want everybody to have wrenches. Uh, 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 we're going to call it a wrench body because I'm doing this for a reason with uh, giving everybody wrenches. People are wondering. Uh, hold on one second. Let me check this out. Tell me lies. Tell me truth. All right, they're going to watch. This is sick. Uh, I don't know if this is the one where they threaten. Uh, oh, yeah, this is all the docs and shit. Now, listen to this, folks. And you're not going to be able to do shit about it, but you want to know why? Because I'm see? fucking Tony. No, I think that, see, uh, I'll stop it right there. Then I'm going to let it go. I don't. He doesn't know he's talking to pizza. He thinks he's threatening somebody's mom or dad. or He doesn't know he's talking to pizza and he's live on air. Low IQ Harambe, he who puts the ape in rape. And people wonder why I call him a chimp and a monkey. The very first Har time Harambe come on, he was jumping up and down, grabbing his private parts with a banana in his hand. Uh, hold on, that guy you're blocked. Do not come in here dropping saying dumb shit or uh, racist or sexual shit in here. Uh, you will get blocked. I think he is blocked. Only I can see from StreamYards. That's his voice on this number. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put your 
mother's picture up there too, bitch. Wow. Your mother, your best, your daddy, your granddaddy, your grandmother, your great great. Yeah, this is the true Harambe right here, as we've all seen. But he's a good guy. Everybody thinks he's a good guy now. Harambe's a nice guy now. Well, why? How? Oh, look at this shit. Like I said, this guy wouldn't be allowed on fucking YouTube if they enforced their rules. He wouldn't be here. Mother, your, your uncles, your sisters, everybody. But I'm going to put them with a big stress off of So do you hear Transbo in the background and then Stone Gaylor? Stone Gaylor? Do you hear that? Oh, yeah. What, is, what, that, is that code in the background? Wait, that sounds like Transbo in the background. You'll be able to hear him in a minute. That is Transbo in the background. That is Transbo in the background, without a doubt. Because Transbo is very, very close with the Ripper. And it just blows my mind, like, especially with the women, like, so much for women's power. I'm woman, hear me roar. Women stick together. <laughs> stick together, women. So much for that. They're supposed to join their lives. Is that is that is that all you got to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. Batters, Stephen. Stephen, it's gonna be you, Miss. See, he thinks he's talking to Mr. Batters. Uh, Luland says, "What does Transbo stand for?" I don't know. Ask uh, uh, Kingzilla. It just sounds funny. I call him Transbo, Phony Tony Lilo. He's got a few nicknames. This Habsburg Chen inbred looking fucking liar. Full name. Yeah, you're doxing the wrong guy, you dumb fucking monkey. <laughs> Pizza's destroying him. We're not doxing the wrong guy, you piece of shit. Don't work like that, bitch. Yeah, yeah you, gotcha. you No, I got you. Uh, we gotcha. No. Bitch. <laughs> we got you, motherfucker. I'm <laughs> there, mother bitch. What's up? What you guys going to do? This guy. Now, these are men in their 60s doing these crank calls. This man, these are men with no employment who are just sitting home all day looking people up for their girlfriend who works at a law office, is looking people's names up and giving this to her boyfriend to torture on YouTube. Like, what the fuck? To look people up in chats and give their shit out. They already ran like six people out of my chat, and I don't blame them people. Uh, their family should not be tortured over it. Dude, you can't do shit about it, bro. Nothing. <laughs> no, no, we're just going to get Tina fired tomorrow. <laughs> He's laughing at that. Like, look at him laughing at it. He doesn't give a fuck about that woman. Like I said, if he gave a shit about Tina, who I call Tilikum, if he cared about that woman, he would have never came out here and put her on screen. Why would you put your woman on screen while you're doxing and looking people up and putting up dead family members. It's ridiculous. Uh, Nita said that wasn't Silo. It was Beck Brooklyn. Oh, possibly. I don't know. It sounded like a me, but I could be wrong. And you could be right. I don't know. Uh, Tall and swing from the trees by his feet. Uh, well, Listen, if Pizza's mother is getting attacked, she should call the cops. She's a fucking, uh, an old, any woman getting crank called and getting their social security numbers, anything like that taken, should call the police on him. If he's torturing an old mom or any women like that, or any, like any normal person should do that. Should, what the fuck, the guy's torturing and crank calling or swearing at old women. It's disgusting. <laughs> What'd you say, bitch? We're going to get Tina Fong tomorrow. We know, we know where you're at. You're in North Carolina, bitch. That's <laughs> where you're at. You're in North Carolina. Look, he don't, he's got no bands. You're in North Carolina, bitch. You're a hoe. You're a slut. Like, all this dumb shit, man. It's not entertaining. It's not funny. Like, Harambe, like I said, bro, if you... Okay, bro, scumbag. If you didn't have your doxing, if YouTube... If everybody reported every time Harambe goes live and puts these people's families up. Go report that, because one day he's going to put your family up, and you're going to hope everybody reports it. Like, it's just bullshit. He's fine, right there. What you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> well, that's all 
are you gonna do? Like these, this is all fucking weird shit. When you got old men calling people up, wanting to fight and meet them, and all this is some weird shit. Like Harambe had one guy come by to stalk me, and it didn't go well for him. Harambe, why don't you do it yourself, coward? Why don't you grab you and a few of your coward friends who like running their mouth on here? And uh, have Lilo, Lilo, Transbo's got all the money. He could pay for all of you guys to come up here and beat me up, like you said, and all your threats, right? And he's got all the connections up here, right? Fucking loser. You're going to suck a big black dick. <laughs> and it always, re remember this about Transbo, I mean, about uh, the Ripper. It always comes back to sexual things or black penises, always. He laughs at his own jokes too. Does anybody think that's funny? Honestly, a sick of a diggita? Like, the, what the fuck is that? This guy is not funny. Drunk. He's drunk. Now, hold on a minute. I want to put what Oliver just put up right there with the Alan Kaiser. Anybody don't know who Alan Kaiser was? He was an innocent kid walking home, and Sammy Gravano murdered him and took him off this planet. And his sister, Joy, uh, has a Facebook page, and that's it. Go hit like on it. Support her. Always hashtag, we push back in justice for Alan Kaiser. Thank you for putting that up, Oliver. Uh, Nikki Blade. Well, yeah, the guy Nikki Blades knew Harambe for years. And remember that confession he did where he's like, uh... When I was a boy, 14, 15, Slow Flow was in his 20s and he used to buy me beer. So I bet you when those guys would pass out or he'd slip them the Mickey, they would pass out and maybe he would he would lower their pants down and stare at their privates. Or maybe he would tell them, we've got to play doctor and we've got to check you for prostate exams. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Sick bass. What's up, Billy the Butcher? What's up, No Name? Bay 8, Billy the Kid, what's up? Yeah, can't run can run a YouTube channel from prison. He can't. Without a doubt, he was. He, he's drunk, giving uh, himself up. What's up, Bill the Butcher? What's up, uh, Robert Clock, Bella Rose, Agnostic, Red, Heather? You know what? I. Heather, that's a good point. I don't listen. It could have. What's up, Midwest mobsters? What's up, bro? Uh, where did Heather say that? It's possible, but it could have happened. Uh, they're opportunists, they're losers to flip. They'll be friends with anybody. It's possible that Habsburg Chin, uh, Transbo, Phony Lilo just went there on his note on his own, but it's very possible that they were friends. But who the fuck knows? Apollo, I love that Doby. Doby time. Doby time. Pretty Monina loves black men too. Minita Mucha, what's up? Westies. Richie, what's up? Ian. Yes, he is. Shout out to the king. The king is back. It's all the same. Making fun of locals in the game. I can't sing a rap, so I'm going to shut the fuck up. Uh, Brody, thank you, Brody, for help. Uh, thank you, and thank everybody for helping my boy. He's doing very. He's he's doing good. He's not fully at a hundred percent. He's like 65 70 percent, but he's gonna be okay, and that's all I care about. Uh, make sure you sub to Assassinino's channel. I'm gonna play his video also. Zio, what's up? And gives uh Mob Tube Chronicles a sub, and wait till her book comes out. See Harambe. And all these morons. He's a stupid. This lady's an author. She can put it in a book. And she's going to. And God bless her for it. Oh, that's, that's. oh thank you, Dudu Brownstone. He's doing good, man. He's doing good. Thank God. Thank God. Your mother's going down for free. Yeah, your Listen. mother. Your mother. Your mother's. That's Silo right there. That's that's Transbo right there, though, uh, Itty Bitty Nita. Let's run that back. To me, this sounds like him. Maybe you guys can hear it different. I'm a little mesomot, but listen to this. 
This is Transbo right here. I believe with all my heart. Listen. Yeah, your mother, your mother, your mother, your mother sucking on that D. That sounds like Transbo. I could be wrong. It sounds like Transbo. I could be wrong, and itty bitty Nita could be right. But that sounds like Transbo to me. Let's run it back one more time. Sounds like Transbo. I'm so glad my internet's working. Oh my God! Thank God. Well, you got a reprieve two weeks ago, Transbo. But now you are my low. I'm. I'm going to do a thing called maybe like low call Mondays or Tuesdays. I don't know what. I don't. I never plan a video, but I'm. Gonna, I'm always going to do like maybe once or every other week. I'm going to pick a low call, and we got a lot of episodes. This is only the first episode on Transbo. That deep. Fuck your whole side, dude. Yeah. Fuck all you guys. Is that Tony Silo in the background? Is that the fake Tony? The one, or Anita says the one. Well, SoFlo, yeah, but there's another guy on there. And at that time, it did sound like Transbo. I'm not sure, though, you know, but it did sound like Transbo, the other guy yelling. I could be could be wrong. Not no like voice experts. No, I'm not a voice expert, but it, I could be wrong. But it does sound like him. Run it back again. It does sound like him. And I thought he was. I'm not into. I hate trolls. I'm not into that. I don't like that shit. Just like he doesn't like rats. But he's under John Panisi's videos. I get the screenshot on my community tab. Look at this maniac pizza. Look at pizza's head. This mad scientist maniac. Great job, you fucking psycho. Is that the fake Tony Silo? We got Mr. Batters, bitch. So now they're looking for Joe Batters' family and to torture Joe Batters' family and everybody else's families. These guys should not be on YouTube. Here's why. It breaks all their rules. YouTube's a bunch of punk bitches. YouTube, you're a fucking clown. You should start having computer systems. Fucking do everything. If they enforce their rules, there's no way Harambe would have doxed the mom pass family all them years, uh, put up people's fake license plates and addresses and um, all that shit. These guys wouldn't be on here. And you think he can hold any other show? Honestly, you think he can do any other thing besides the shit that he does and people would watch? Hell no. And the people in them chats, like Michael Hensley and them guys who are donating to all of this shit, that's why I will not go in a certain person's chat because half of the people in there were all donating for him to destroy and dox all these innocent women, fucking people, children. I won't be around those scum. What's up, baby? Listen. You like me now? <laughs> that... Yeah, now, now, now I'm gonna find out where your grandparents are. I think there's three people on the line. I think there's the Ripper, uh, Phony Tony, Silo, Transbo, and someone else. So there's three voices going right here. Yeah, Redzilla. Yep, that guy. And you know what? The, you, they're lucky I'm not like them. I'll tell you this because. I know what his uh, his son and his daughter-in-law do for work. I know, CO. I know, you're a fun. You shouldn't be do uh, donating to these people that are do doxing people and putting people's families up and harassing Pizza's eighty-year-old mother. Like, what are you doing? Hold on a minute. I gotta fix this. Uh, oh, this thing's gonna come on. This thing's unplugged. Like, you should anybody donating money. To a channel that is uh, putting old women up, threatening old women, stealing women's social security numbers, doxing uh, people's daughters' license plates, homes, all this shit. Nobody should support that. If I was up here giving out people's addresses, I hope all of you would fucking leave. And I'm sure you would. Very bitch, we're going to piss on it. How about that? Look at that. Who says that? Listen, I hate Harambe. I hate all these stool pigeons, but I would never piss on, uh, urinate on some deceased person's grave. That's just low, dude. Like, as much as I hate Eletto, Panisi, and them guys, if John Panisi's mother, God forbid, passed away tonight, 
and like she like it was in some of the graveyards I work at. Do you think I would go pee on her grave? Hell no. That's just repulsive. Who does that? Who? These guys. These guys. Because they're degenerate low lives. Look at this. It shows who they're, the character of the man, men they are, which they're no men at all. A lot of people agreed with that at one point. Huh? You racist piece of shit. <laughs> Who put that on you? Uh, uh, what fucking idiot. Like, Harambe has no skills. He's not funny. He's not intelligent. He wishes he had uh, armor and a sword. Fucking goof. If you're going to be a LARPer, be a LARPer. Like I do. I go LARP with my friends and we put fucking armor on and beat each other up with swords. Hold on. I got to put this coffee back. I'm getting a little fucking like this. The never-ending story. The never-ending story. Mr. Transvo. Yes. Tell me a lie. Tell me how you hang with that Tony Ripper type guy. Tell me about Tillicum's big thighs. And tell everybody that you love and know all the wise guys. Transvo. Yes. Bring me a skin. Some slip and fall job that I've never seen. It is. Fucking stop it. From a nursing home. You're alive. Stop grabbing all you. Did you hear what he just said? I'm going to call them in nursing homes. This man's willing to attack like real old seniors, like seniors in their 70s and 80s. Like, I don't mean like newbie seniors, like new oldies, you know, like. Like a newbie oldie, 61, 62. I'm talking about old fucking people. That's hotless, man. Hotless. This guy has no moral compass whatsoever. Obviously, that's why he's literally sexually assaulted women. And But he didn't do it. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. He didn't sexually assault that woman. Well, he said he went and beat him with pool sticks. <laughs> with pool sticks. And admitted it and said he'd do it again. So much for the so much for uh standing with the fellow women, huh? Women power and women hear me roar. I'm emotional. You're live. Stop grabbing all you all the people that give you money, bro. We're gonna find them. Uh, Tony Pizza shit. Look, eighty years old. We're gonna drag you. Fuck. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna find Tony Pizza's mother, who's eighty years old. Oh, hold on. Thank you very kindly, Billy. Thank you very kindly. Oh, Jack, it wasn't me. I didn't rip her in the corner. It wasn't me. I didn't rip her on the sofa. It wasn't me. I didn't rip her in the closet. It wasn't me. I didn't beat her with a pool stick, but yes, I did. It wasn't me. I can't sing, though, but great one, great one, great one. Yes, that's what's messed up, Assassin. They've been doing that. Even Piggy did that with people. Imagine if people did that to all the people in their chats. They wouldn't like that. Nobody should do that to nobody in any chat. Like I said, like that guy, Michael Hensley, I know. <laughs> He's just so lucky. So lucky I am who I am. No respect for women or the elderly, but calling other people racist. Like, all right, put it this way. Even if, like, let's say me, even if I was some skinhead, neo-Nazi or whatever, who am I hurting? Who am I hurting? Am I even saying mean shit on here? No. Uh, if I said Titsun and Yam in the past, that's the way we talk up here. Sometimes, like, if we're, sometimes it's not even an insult all the time. You know what I mean? I remember my uncle would be like, your friend's outside, and he couldn't think of the name. He's like, your Yam buddy's at the door. And my uncle loved that kid like a fucking nephew. Loved him like a fucking nephew. Like, these people know shit. And it blows my mind. That they're gonna harass these old people, but like call pizza a racist. All right, pizza says some dumb shit 100 percent And he does say some dumb racist shit he shouldn't say. You're a fucking that's why your channel is always buried in the algorithm, pizza. But pizza, this was a massive stroke done by uh beats right here. Great job. It's crazy, bro. Are you are you like them apples? Are what you think you're fucking with, man? Huh. What do you think we're fucking? Oh, a sexual a man with sex two degrees of sexual abuse. 
Aggravated assault, second degree, motherfucker. A cyber bully. A cyber, exactly. Pizza got him right there. And that's this shows this guy is just trolling all of you people. Like he is a cyber bully. And he's like, I'm against cyber bullies. It's like, blah, blah, blah. Like he is a cyber bully. Well, if the uh even if he does even if he is, what's worse though? Let's say pizza just doesn't like people of other color of skin. What's worse? Someone who doesn't like somebody for that, but doesn't hurt no one, or a man who's sexually assaulting women. That's worse. There's nothing worse than assault. Somebody who just don't like somebody, well, ignorance is bliss, whatever, but physical assault is the worst. Sexual assaults on women is unspeakable. And what he's doing right here, calling up people's fucking family members. Like, like, like if a, I don't know if Harambe's family is alive or dead, but if, his, if let's say his mom was alive, do you, would it be right to call his mother for his actions? No, it wouldn't. His mom and dad have nothing to do with his actions. And what? Keats's mother has nothing to do with his actions. A cyber bully. You're a cyber bully. He's right. Pete is right. Your mother's a you're, you're the black. See, look how no bands, man. No, no, can't even say anything funny. Can't even say anything funny. Maggie. She likes the big you're, black bitch. You're the black no, maggot. Black. You're the black maggot that's going to jail. No, I, I, no, I'm your mother. I'm your mother. I'm no. your mother. Look how I'm your mother. <laughs> well, we all know Harambe. Uh, is a bisexual we all know and uh, hey listen whatever you want to do behind your closed doors hey go ahead i don't agree with it but i don't uh i don't whatever you, you can do whatever you like we've got we've got videos of him wearing wigs makeup on the whole nine everything out of his mouth is sexual shit he's just a total creep if you just came in get me the 200 likes hit that like button And I think I got a couple Zilla, more. This red Zilla. Hold on, I think I got a couple of more right here until we get to the Assassinino uh, grand finale video. This red Zilla. This red Zilla. And you're going to have people over there like, like red Zilla. That red Zilla. That red Zilla. That red Zilla. That Is that really you, red Zilla? <laughs> red Zilla's been. Red Zilla, you couldn't have picked a better one from me. Like, you see how uh, cringe it? Is that really you, red Zilla? <laughs> it's the horse shack. Is that really you, Red Zilla? <laughs> hey, Jerry, what's up, man? Shout out to uh, shout out to Australia, to my wogs out there. I'm busy. What's up, River Usk? Hey, Red Zilla's been busy. Subscribe to Red Zilla, guys. Red Zilla too. What's up, man? I'm Thirty-one Browns, like you born in the chamber. Let the people the chest. They better party in danger. Play a nip below the barrel. Know that black is braided. And if the trumpet get the pop. All right. Watch Transbo. He called Tranbo. I, I say Transbo, but it's Tranbo. Brag and show off in front of everyone. This guy is a total fucking cacker liar. He loves to be in the spotlight. All of be about him. He's like a little. He like I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. Lying fantastic. I eat plastic. I'm about he's a fucking let's go, Bobby. I don't, I don't know, but listen, he's a fucking broad. He's like a pregnant woman or a, a, an emotional woman or emotional man, fucking tranny. Sick. Real twisted. Pause it again. I think we got like what seven or eight cell phones. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I gotta run this back. Look at him, he's got the slip. And you're gonna have people. No, I gotta hear my voice again. I, I gotta hear my voice again. Oh my god. I'm busy. Red. Subscribe to Redzilla, guys. Redzilla, too. What's up, man? I'm 31 Browns, like you bought oh. in the chamber. Let the people put his chest, he better party in death. Get a rap game, get another fucking devil. All right, he's going to show off. Top G, what's up? Aegon. Look at the hats, Bird Chin. Look at this great big pomegranate, Habsburg Chin. 
Look at him. He's trying to be Slim Jesus. It's drill time, folks. Look at this flat bill out with the stickers on it and the camo. Oh, forever young. I want to be young again. This guy, like Transbo. Is, is he, does this guy look 52? Look at these pappy glasses. Why do you think they wear the pappy shades, him and the Ripper? Why do you think they wear pappy shades? To hide their pappiness. To hide the elderly in them. Are you kidding? Look at that Absberg chin. He just needs a big red nose. And it's that transbo. I got them for business. They got to be shut off after a while. You know, it, it gets annoying after a while. He's What did he say? He's got what for business? And look at the sticker. He's got so many phones. Oh, he's got... Tr uh, hear what he just said? I believe he said he's got burner phones. He has burner phones. Someone asked about Kane. Yeah, Kane's doing good now. Good, good. Send my love to him. And tell him we're all uh, we're all pulling for him and, and uh, wishing for a great recovery, and make sure they sub to his channel. Great dude. Did he just say that he had thirty six burner phones? And he's got them all for business. No, this guy is fucking with people behind the scenes. He's got no life. He sits on the computer all day to watch videos and stalk people. And he was trying to go on his, like, little transbo tour. The transbo tour. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Uh, but, see, people started seeing through his bullshit, and they started realizing that transbo is full of shit. Hit that like button, please. Hey, look at this flag. Oh, how is this stick? Come on, yeah, guys like that, like, like, once again, bah, bah, he's a sheep. Like, nobody started doing this until maybe, what, 10 years ago? And it's mostly, like, like hip-hop kids and shit like that. What a biter, like, a fucking follower. Like, just because the young kids are doing it, he's doing it. What a fucking clown. I don't know any man that age that would... It's just weird. He's trying to be young, yes. Wow. What kind of business do you have, Sony? Stay so asked him, what kind of business do you have, Transbo? And let's see what Transbo says. Look at that chin. Oh, my God. Looks like Fred Flintstone. Oh, my God. He's a fucking weird-looking character. I have Sony. I have a construction company. I still work with the boxing with the building down there. I still do boxing appearances down in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, dude. You you scored a couple of slip and fall lawsuits. You own no bit. Listen, if he was a business owner, people, let's think about this. If he he owned any businesses, right? <clears throat> If he owned any businesses, where would he have the fucking time to do this? Let's think about that. Just really, anybody in here that owns a business? I'm sure, I think I see one, I'm not going to say a name, but I think I know one lady in here that owns a business and another guy. They don't have the time to be on all these shows all day. If you run a business, you do not have the time. He's a CEO. And, like, you don't have the time for this. Doing a show on... Uh, that mob two breaking news. No, I don't regret it, but I'm not going to talk about that. I said it. I said what I had to say. I wasn't lying. I told I'm not. That's not what this is about, and I'm not going to talk about that. But uh, this guy has no way he owns businesses. I'm sorry, man. No way he owns businesses. Here's why. He's a 60 year old wankster. Yeah, wanna be a wankster? Oh my god, he's a papster. He's a six-year-old papster. What's up, Jane Perry? Yes, the chin, Jane. You cannot miss the chin. Like, come on. Chin Fugazi over here. Building down there. I still do boxing appearances down in Florida and other places with people. I own a All right, why don't you do it? You did mix. You just said in the other video we heard that he said he did mixed martial arts for 36 years. Why aren't you like doing mixed martial arts appearances? Why are you doing boxing appearances when you were mixed martial art? Everything is bullshit with transbo. Down in Florida and other places with people. 
I own a maintenance company that maintains every building on the beach in Southern Florida. Come on. Oh, come on. These lies are so tig s. They are so Chicago muscle-esque. How can anybody believe this? Oh, he said 32 years, Joe? All right. Come on. How can you believe this? Give me a fucking break. You know, I, I, oh, hold on. This breaking mob two guy. Uh, you're an idiot. Uh, let's like I say, let's say I was some evil neo-Nazi before. Well, evidently, I'm not one now. And I'm not uh, calling people racial slurs on here, am I, dickhead? Well, tell me your nationality, and, and I'll call you a racial slur right now. So shut the fuck up. Well, if he keeps talking stupid like that, just block that clown. You kidding? Really? Oh, I'm very busy. I went back. I left. I went to Florida. But a Monday night, I'm back in New York right now. He went to Florida. I was only back for uh, four nights. He might have listen. He might have went to Florida, and they might have traveled. Yes, but he doesn't own businesses. He just said he owned every hotel on the Florida beach. Back in New York right now. Oh, let's bring. I was only back for uh, four nights on the beaches right, of the Florida. Uh, maintenance company that maintains appearances down in Florida. Appearances down in. Florida. Florida and other places with people. I own a maintenance company that maintains every building on the beaches. He Florida. owns every, this is out of his own mouth. He owns every building that does the maintenance on the beach at Southern Florida. Yeah, Silo, Mein Kampf, My Struggle, Silo. He should write a book, My Struggle. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I, are I, you I, kidding? Really? Are you kidding? Really? Of course not. Look at him. I, 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 mouth wide open, ass wide shut. Donut Soflo's coming in to dog fuck the mutt. Fucking clown. Anybody believe this? And where would he have the time? When you own, I, I don't own no business. <laughs> where would you have the time? Where would you have the time? Oh, I'm very busy. I went back. I left. I went to Florida Monday night. I'm back in New York right now. I was only back for uh, four nights. You got. What did you do? Ride your bike with no uh with no seat on it. What'd you ride a bike there with no seat on it? Transbo, some sort of Larry Mazza pogo stick type thing. Get the stitches out, right? Well, we had a fight with the doctor on the phone. I keep come back Friday, come back here, come back. Here. I, oh, he's asked, he's. He's trying to tell people he's got stitches and shit. Now, do yeah, they do put they usually put staples in the head, but I'm sure for a small head wound they would use stitches. But you can't listen. This guy, if he told you he had eggs for breakfast, bet on that he had pancakes. These are the people that are they can't stop lying. This is a compulsive fucking liar. He's a compulsive liar. Just like the John Lovett skit from fucking HBO, dude. No, I mean, Saturday Night Live. He's a terrific addition to the Liars Anonymous. He is a liar. He, he puts me in stitches. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, hold on. He what? He definitely rode Spirit Airlines. He definitely even, he definitely didn't even fly first class. Yeah, so he said, didn't he say he owned uh didn't he say he owned fucking like airlines or jets or something like that? Yeah, I'm not. I'm the president of Lies Anonymous. I'm John Lovitz. Look, like, come on, dude. This guy is out of his mind. That's why I love these trans belt things, and that's why he's my local. He's my little. He's my Cyrax. He's my new baby dog. He's my name. I forget, but let's let's proceed with. Tell me lies, tell me more little lies. Transvaal, well, give me them lies. You got to get the stitches out, right? Well, we had a fight with the. You doctor had a fight with the doctor on the phone. I beat him up, knocked the doctor out. I knocked that doctor out in two fucking seconds. How'd you knock him out through the phone, Silo? Listen, Yoda trained me. A Jedi master trained me. I can reach through the phone. A go go gadget arms. Come back Friday. Come back here. Come back. I, I, we finally told him tonight. Make up your fucking minds because that's enough. I've been walking around with these stitches since uh, January twenty sixth. Wait, he's been walking around with these stitches since January twenty sixth. I don't know. I don't know. It's possible. I don't know. Like I said, lie once, 
lie twice. Every other thing everybody hears is going to be liar's paradise. Yeah, I know. What the hell is the hold up? I gotta wear a fucking hat. I can't get a haircut right right yet. You know, enough of this bullshit. Get the stitch. Right, I gotta wear a hat. I can't get a haircut. What, what you didn't put your just for lying men in? Just for transposed men in? You didn't put the fucking the red hair dye in your head? Uh, no, I didn't see the picture of him in a tarot guy. No. But even if he does, like, I believe that this guy has probably met some of these people at these boxing masses and took pictures with them. I believe that. Yeah. But I do not believe the other shit, all the other lies. Roscoe, I believe I, I'm I've always been saying 68 or 65, 67. Could be wrong. Yeah, he yeah, the great simping. Yo, great point, dude. Uh don't come in here. Even I don't like Tig, dude, but don't come in here with Tig's name. Like, don't come in here with anybody's real name, dude. So just change that. Don't come in here with people's real names. I don't like Tig. He had a little war room where he was going to try to put all my family up and shit. Yeah, just don't come in here with his name. But, he, all right, can't get a haircut, but he can box FBS. Are you fucking kidding? I heard he, like, he had something in crayon where he made a contract in crayon or something. Fucking ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. But that's, that's a great point, Simpin. Great fucking point. Wonderful point. Let's run it back a little. Hold on. Let it go. I gotta wear a fucking hat. I can't get a haircut right right yet. You know, enough of this bullshit. Get the stitches out. <laughs> oh, you can't get a haircut? Not right now, no. Oh. I got stitches at the top of my uh, right here, <laughs> straight down my back. <laughs> we can't see them. Take the hat off, retard. Take the hat off, you retard. Imagine that he put I got stitches right here and he's showing his hat. Take the fucking stitches of the stitch. Take the fucking hat off, retard. I can't believe this guy. When he, I remember, I don't know if it was the first or second appearance on uh Angel's show. He went in there and said he had pins in his neck and he couldn't show himself. None has stitches. Hold on, I want to put on what Metro Pete says. Hold on. No one has stitches for six months. This that's a great point. That's a good point because I had my staples in my chest for like I think three weeks, and they should have took them out way earlier. So Damien's grandfather helped me take them out. I took my own staples out of my chest. Me and Rocco uh, Rocco Argenti Senior, Damien's grandfather, we removed the staples from my chest. I remember my doctor got so mad, but when I told him, the nurses stopped coming by he called them up and reamed them out i could have sued them i could have had a lawsuit uh poor human being also mine is yeah that's a great point with the stitches what if they grow into his head and why would he just take them out he goes ha ha nicky he's good he's got stitches in his head i wouldn't doubt it i wouldn't doubt it harambe Harambe and them must have had a real sloppy, sweaty, fucking phenoic lovemaking that night. Oh, wow. He is Frankenstein by his remorse. He's lying, Stein. Lying, Stein. Uh, uh, be my lying, Stein. Being bullshitted with a Hepsburg chin. I can't say that. your surgery? Told so many lies, make it old man cry. Sweet Tony lie. Fucking goof. Look at look at this goofy Fred Flintstone, Bonnie Rubble. He looks like Calamander a little, but look at this. Look at the fucking chin. Holy shit! This is Habsburg, baby. Look up the Habsburg jaw, the Habsburg chin, people. Please hit the like button. Sorry. My Bob is afraid to give me a haircut as it is, thinking I'm going to kick his ass if he does Did you hear that? His Bob is scared to give him a haircut because he might kick the Bob's ass. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Transbo, you are a special gift that just keeps on giving. Thank you, Transbo. Thank you, Lilo Phony Tony. My Bob is afraid to give me a haircut as it is, thinking I'm going to kick his ass if he does something wrong. So could you imagine him sitting there with that little... Bzzz, bzzz, God forbid his handshakes, it's all over. Oh, God. You had stitches in your head for six months? 
if his hands shake, like this doesn't, does, well, nothing that Lilo does make sense. What did you have the surgery for, Tony? What's that? What was your surgery for? Okay, I have plates in the front of my neck. This is, I don't know if you can see the scar here. It goes from like. Uh, I don't see the scar, but it's possible. I don't know. But once again, how are you going to fight? Not only FBS. Remember, he said he had a fight coming in the future. He has fights planned in the future. How the fuck? Uh, uh, no one's going to let you fight. How are you going to fight with pins and, and fucking plates in your neck and fucking pricks in your ass and butterflies on your private? Like, who the fuck? This guy's a retard. Get it here somewhere. And they finally had to do it in the back because the front was collapsing. It, forward. What's up, Scotty? Facts over feeling. What's up? It's just amazing. The lies. He looks like Jay Leno. Nikki the Wop. Man, Nikki's great. Nikki's got some fucking pants. Nikki the Wop. He looks like Jay Leno. He does. Oh, my God. He does with all them wrinkles. Who knows? 51 my ass. He's not 51, dude. No way. My friend Scotty's like 51 years old. And Scotty looks like he's in his 30s. There's no way this guy is 51. No way. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You know, so it's to stabilize it more higher, and the vertebrae were way whacked out. What, to yeah. stabilize it more? See, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know about this talk. But he's like, but didn't he try to say he didn't have any pins in his neck a few days ago? I don't know. Did he? I didn't hear that or whatever. But... Like, I've heard him say he has pins in his neck. I heard the video. Now he doesn't have pins. Now it's just plates, guys. It's only plates in my neck, guys. Only plates. That's it. Yeah, but he bought the college out in uh, Nevada. I don't know Nevada anything but Henderson. I have a house in Henderson. Nevada. He's got a house in Henderson, Nevada also, folks. So not only does he got a house in New York, a house in Florida, owns all these fucking motels. He's got a house in Nevada also. This is a very rich man who needs to slip in. Uh, where's Parasite Slayer? I mean, he's been dropping comments on my channel uh, about this guy being a slip and fall con artist who, I don't know, didn't help people in a church or suit a church. I don't know. This guy does not own shit. He's, a fu he's not an embellisher. He's a fucking liar. And embellishing is lying. It's lying. Man, lying. <laughs> What's up, Scotty? Love you, bro. Transbo's wealthy. Yeah, he, he, he's wealthy, all right. He must be honored that he... Oh, yeah, he, he, he loves him. They were probably friends before that. He loves him. He loves him. And let me tell you, he's definitely, he's definitely getting plowed by the rip. He's definitely the Ripper is entering or entering him without a doubt, without a doubt. So rich, hold on. So rich, Tony Fraud Law. It's a good one. So rich said he can't afford twelve dollars gas station sunglasses. Get your boots a pile of shit. Yeah, uh, good point, Stu Cats. Good point, dude. Good point. Hold on, Grandbino said what? Oh, Mr. Grandbino's thing right there. I'm 16. He looks 15 years old. The dude, he is. He's old, man. And it's just, oh, he's a fucking dinosaur. Hey, Nick, what's up, Nick? He's a dinosaur. He's a fucking Liasaurus Rex. I, I put all my houses on parts that deals the fights huh? because I wasn't getting screwed like other people. So you, you Wait, what did he say? He bought all of his houses on deals on fights. So it wasn't getting screwed like other people. Like other people. So you you were oh, taking care of your money properly. See, I don't know about anything but Henderson. I have a house in Henderson. All right, if you got a house, you don't know anything about Henderson, Nevada, but you got a house there. That don't make sense. He's got a house in Henderson, Nevada, but he doesn't know about Henderson, Nevada. I, uh, that's amazing. What's up, Mobland? Salty Cracker. That's right, Assassino. If you make all these crazy fucking claims and accusations and then you don't expect people to question you and you've lied. We've caught you in lies. You lied to Johnny Combat. 
You said I want. You told him I wanted to fight him, dude. I was never. I never said that. In a million. Years, like, why would I fucking say that? I, I bought all my houses on parts with deals of fights because I wasn't getting screwed like other people. So you were, you were taking care of your money properly. Oh, a hundred percent. With a single voice, watch how stupid this Habsburg chant looking fucking crappy is. Listen to this. When the grumpy Italian guy did a video or Guardian of the Night, one of them did a video, you'll see somebody talking, and you know how the avatars moving right now when I'm speaking. Right. The, the, another avatar is bobbling around. So they right. screwed that one up. Okay. I, that, oh, I know what he's doing. He's got multiple um, boxes of <laughs> avatars. He'll mute one, talk to the other with the with the voice box, the voice changer, take, you know what I mean? And then go back regular on the other one. Right. But that what I'm saying is... Messed, messed okay. A big shout out to Scotty and Conwell out there. Big shout out to Scotty, who's like a big brother of mine. And... All right, can you hear me now? Yeah, what about now? Press one. All right, you hear me now. All right. Yeah, this shit, man. I don't know why, but one. Can you hear him? Can you hear him saying if you attack these women? Yeah, I can't take any phone calls while I'm streaming. There's no way I can take a phone call while I'm streaming. You can't hear him. I don't know what's up with Streamyards, man. I just, I don't fucking get it. Hold on, I'll try it again and reshare. It makes no sense. Blows my mind. I don't fucking get this Streamyard shit, man. I guess I gotta get that cord. Even if I had the cord, I don't think it's that. I don't know what the fuck it is. Streamyards don't let you fucking delete nothing no more. Like. I want to get to Assassinos video. Like I should just save these. I know, we'll try to get through it, but I don't know if it's gonna uh, get through it all. Tell me if you can hear Lilo. Your bills and pray that nobody finds out. It's not very attack these women. You know, it's absolutely disgusting. You gonna you sit there and you giggle to each other as you pop your pills. And pray that nobody finds out. It's not very hard. To you know, be yeah, but he said what they do to what he, what they do to these poor women. Wow. No, you got just selective shit. You're a fucking clown, and you're talking to a guy who is a sex offender, who is a sex offender, literally sexually is two a uh, uh, second degree sexual battery on women stalking on a woman and bullying women on YouTube, taking the social security numbers, uh, harassing people's children. So you're a fucking hypocrite and a douchebag. That's what you are, clown. But to attack these women, you know, it's absolutely disgusting. You, was gonna, you sit there and you giggle to each other as you pop your pills and pray that nobody... 
not very hard to think and wording and sentencing. Do is get some to analyze his Listen. handwriting <laughs> and wording. Handwriting and, and they can figure it out by other messages. If you think you have a good idea, I gave it to two people today. I gave it to two people. Listen. I gave it to two people today. They came up with the same person. He gave it to two people. So he doesn't know how to do screenshots. He screenshots, screen records, everything, gives it to the ripper. And now he's got people. This guy's a fucking lying punk. And I already had an idea who it was all along. So you know what? I'm done figuring you out. He's done figuring it out. Want to hear it again? This guy's a fucking gimp. What a gimp. You're less so, and you were talking at the same time. That's well, but here's here's something you can buy. You can buy it with a single voice that is the voice changer. Okay, let me right. explain this for a second. Right. Because when the grumpy Italian guy did a video or, or Guardian of the Night, one of them did a video. Oh, we you don't want to hear that talking, again. Let's just skip over it. this because I want to get to the Assassino one. Before this. I don't believe we are going. All right, this is about Johnny Combat. Remember, and I'm going to play the Johnny Combat when Johnny came on and spoke with me. <clears throat> and this is the day after that Johnny came on and spoke with me and asked, did you say that you wanted to punch me? And I'm like, no, dude. And he's like, all right, cool. And much respect to Johnny for that. Now, look how he, he's not too happy with Johnny right now. And he's all very, very in his feels. Look how depressed he sounds. And he sounds like somebody took his, uh, he's an old motherfucker. So somebody must have took his funny papers away. Maybe he can't read the funny papers. Maybe he's really upset. There you go, Steve. <laughs> There's that answer. Tell me lies. I don't know who Johnny is. Is it the Johnny that was up on the panel of Angel? Is that Johnny Boy or something he goes by on screen? Mm, whatever. I, I think what he's your friend. Uh, well, you sound like he's high. He's on opiates. He sounds like, listen, you know, people that always uh, say everybody's on drugs is usually on drugs. He sounds like he's on 74 Percocets. We'll say 27 Percocets. Uh, whatever, whatever. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just meet up with Lefty? What's going on over here, Pappy Fenty? Yeah, we, we, we were friends. We were friends until I told Johnny a lie, because I don't respect Johnny, and I'm using Johnny as a tool to, uh, to get, uh, I don't know, to fight with people I don't like. Because you lied to the kid. If you told me somebody was saying they were going to beat me up and shit, and it's a total lie. I wouldn't talk to you and trust you ever again. Oh. We are, fr we are friends, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. What do you yeah. mean? We are friends. You're either you're friends or you're not. You, you know, you, you guess. Hit that like if you just came in, people. To return oh. the call, you know, find out. I, Why not... would he return your call after you lied to him? When you lie to people, it shows you don't respect them. I, I don't rat. I'm going to keep it quiet. You don't rat. Now. Yeah, what time are you? Oh, Tariti said, what time are you going on tonight? No, nah, I don't think we are going to go on. So I was gonna... And he's talking to the Ripper. Unbelievable. I set up the other stream and ask you if you wanted to do it one night this week with me. Or if you. Would you do a stream with me, sexual abuser? Sexual abuser. Will you team up with me, sexual abuser who's torturing all the women? Silo thinks he's the big one. He is the white knight special. All true the night. Transbo, I'm yours. Lying tonight. Fucking white knight phony. If you're going to white knight for women, white knight for all of them in the community, you fucking punk. Uncle Edwin, everybody please sub to my Uncle Edwin's channel. That is my uncle from Puerto Rico. Sub to his channel. Great man, uh, great father, grandfather, all around stand up guy. Admire him. But you and my know cousin Mimo. Mimo. You're going to get these. Listen. Mob groupies. Come on, Angel. You know what they are. Look, he's describing himself. Look at his sticker. He's describing himself once again. Pappy glasses. Liar, liar. Liar, liar. Pins uh, on yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I, I grew up in a neighborhood that's all guys like that and regular. Really? Yeah, right. I grew, I, I, I grew up in a neighborhood. <clears throat> I grew up in a neighborhood with all guys like that. I, 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 I grew up in a neighborhood with all guys like that. 
I thought you grew up in uh, where Gene was from. You knew Gene since he was little. This guy is a fucking wise guy, hump, mafia groupie. He's a mob fanboy. He was on the John Panisi's videos. John Panisi is a disgusting, lying informant who beat up a woman, knocked her teeth out, and burnt her hair. And the woman was in court, ready to testify against him as a witness. And the fucking prosecution wouldn't let her come and testify. She was there. Panisi is a woman beater. Other guys, okay, but you know you're gonna get these mob groupies. Come on, Angel, you know what they are, <laughs> and they know what you are, sleaze ball. Yeah. All right, I I grew up in a neighborhood. Yeah, you didn't grow up in a neighborhood with shit, pal. And if you if you did, you wouldn't act, act like this. And get, like, you know, you that, friends with Johnny? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if we're friends or not. I don't know. This is now I, this guy Johnny. I got respect for. Uh, phony Tony told him that I wanted to punch his face in and all this weird shit. And I, I didn't remember him at first, but I do remember him. Like after a few minutes, I did remember that I've talked to him on Angel's channel before. Like I, I would, if I said it, I would. Just say that, and I'd never say that about anybody. And what, and, and that's why whoever told that lie, you know, into like, yeah, I've never had any beef with Johnny, any even disagreement. And I don't tell, I don't talk tough on here and say I'm gonna fight people. Now, when Harambe sends stalkers after me, I beat their ass, I beat them up. And I'm not, uh, this ain't a brag, this is just a fact I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm the only one on here that's actually beat up Har one of Harambe's friends that sent to me. So Harambe, you guys are no tough guys. You're a bunch of punk bitches. That's what you uh And you tried to get this kid to come over here and fight with me and all that shit. And you lied to him. You're an idiot. Listen. Yeah, we what did. Yeah, we, yes. Yeah. And I didn't even remember it. And, and, I, and we were probably talking nice to each other. So why would I even say anything bad about you? Never mind want to punch you. That's just, these people are so much troublemakers, dude. It's pathetic, man. Look at that talking about it like that. You know, listen, MRE friend just punched me. Did you hear that? Me Watch. in the face, Johnny in the face, Nikki in the face, and another. Face. Did you hear that? He just said MRE has threatened to punch me, Johnny, Ricky, Bobby, Stevie, Lance Bass, fucking Jordan Knight, fucking Michael Jackson's chimp bubbles. Uh I'm threatened to punch everybody in the face, guys. Where's the receipts, dickhead? No, what I said was, you said you were. I'm, I'm going. <clears throat> I'm coming to Rhode Island. I'm going to beat up all these Rhode Island guys. I got a lot of connections in Providence. I'm going to beat up all these Rhode Island guys. I know what they're talking about, Boston. There's no Italian guys in Boston. There's no such thing as a North End Hanover Street. But I'm going to punch all these guys in the face. I never said that. I said, if you just come up here and stalk me, I'm going to punch in the face. Just like I punched so flows of the gimp, the ripper's gimp. And he didn't even fight back. He just put his hands over his head like a damsel in distress. Nikki in the face and another. MR friends to punch me in the face, Johnny in the face, Nikki in the face. See, he did. He said I said I wanted to punch Johnny in the face. Never said that in a million fucking years, dude. I mean, I had a problem with the guy. Even if I did, I would just bant back and forth. Not threat you've watched me for what, two years on here? All I do is bant back and forth. I don't threaten to beat people up on it. It's stupid. You come on YouTube, I can't punch you through the screen. You know who's going to go meet and fight people off of YouTube? Not me. One guy beat his ass because he stalked me. Stalking's different. Wait, let me get Wait, one second. One second. On, one second. One second. Let me ask this question because I forgot to ask this. Did you, Tony Silo, threaten to uh, hit or go to Rhode Island and hit MRE? Absolutely not. Oh, so you didn't threaten to hit him? I said I will be in Rhode Island in August if anybody wants to see me. That is not Oh, a okay, but you didn't threaten to hit him. You wasn't threatening him. Yes, he him. did. What a liar. And you didn't do any of that. So Absolutely I don't know. Not. Okay, I don't know why he keeps getting these messages. He said that he doesn't watch anybody. Yeah. I seen him on on clips on like little like I don't know a few set uh be a minute clip or something that people send. I don't know. Somebody, 
Come is. In. Well, whatever. I have got my own. And we, we, this guy is such a lot. In the description, it's called The Ripper and the Liar, Lilo Transbo. Wolves in sheep's clothing, without a doubt. Selective memory, Kid Rock. I wonder how you even live life after that rest. Hi, sleep. Lie alone. 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 Great day. Today we're going to take a look at the number one doxer on YouTube and how people still support this guy no matter what he does. He's on there doxing people while well, trying to dox people every day. But everybody turns a blind eye to it. Now, Tony P. To destroys the rat squad. I've always said that. But actually, this idiot did it to himself. I don't know anyone that could be that stupid to sit there and incriminate them. <laughs> but this is this is what we're dealing with. And to all the people that support him, pay attention, all right? But he went right on the live. It was no big deal. Like, he didn't do anything wrong. All right, you all know the drill. Let's get right into this here. But <laughs> 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 because people really, in their heart of hearts, know that it's wrong to go after people's families. Now, my opinion is anyone that supports this, any of this, man, I don't know how you sleep at night. I don't know how you look at yourself in the mirror. Once again, I'm going to show everyone this guy doxing the wrong people and people still turn a blind eye to it. What you're going to see is that this guy is the one attacking everyone's family. right? Yes, exactly. Assassin, you know, and he's looking up people in the chats and all that shit. Well, imagine if everybody started doing that to him in his chat, which is not you can't look up people. That go in people's chats, man. It's not cool to dox these people. And this guy loves it. Sassy, you know, tell him. Right. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? I'm just a faceless troll. <laughs> 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 now, let's be honest. Everyone heard this phone call. Everyone. So you're going to hear people say, well, oh, well, I didn't know about it. I didn't hear it. No, that's bullshit. Everyone heard it. Everybody Maybe, knows about it. Yeah, I'll just put a 24-hour loop with this on nonstop. <laughs> So explain to me how these people could go live the next day and act like nothing happened and say family shouldn't be involved. All right. Tell me, someone, please explain it to me. Perfectly aware that, yeah, there are people here, man, that, that I do believe that should be uh, eradicated from YouTube. Eradicated? Like, once again, if YouTube enforced their policies, this guy would have no channel. Without looking people up and saying he's going to rape people and Say all this sexual stuff. He has nothing. Look at it. Look at all this shit. This wannabe. See that? See that, uh, Ripper? Why don't you just go ask Tina to buy you some armor and swords? I have the real armor and swords. And why you have all that European shit up behind you, you fucking punk? Or, or, and, or, 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 or ostracized to the extreme. Uh, I, want, I want to say one other. You should be ostracized, you creep. Now you're going to see why Slow Flow is the prime candidate for being banished from YouTube. He did the same thing he did to the Mom Pass family. Just keep yep, Everybody remember the Mom Pass family? This plus fucking people put these Mom Pass people up forever. It wasn't even the real people. Some people that are totally innocent in this. All right. So watch this. Oh, it's Jorge. Jorge, say hello. Oh. Say hello, Jorge. What's up, Mr. Batters? <laughs> he thinks it's bad. As, this is the video. Uh, Assassin was going over one of the videos we played from Red. Listen. I'm talking about Mr. Batters. What's up? Keep thinking you're talking to you fucking stupid monkey. I had to mute out the name because Slow Flow was trying to dox the dude, Mr. Batters. That's who he thinks he's talking to. <laughs> uh, imagine, and Assassin was going to touch on this. Imagine coming on YouTube. Having no bants, you want to argue with people, you can't do it because you got no bants and you're outmatched. So you go right to looking people up. Like, what the fuck? I'm dropping my second channel in the chat. This is my Rustin channel where I call out a scammer named Durky Castle. 
If you want a sub to it, give it a sub. I just dropped, uh, I just said second turkey. That's me. I'll pull it up on the tab and then we'll get right back to the uh, Assassino Stingray. Yeah, hold on. I don't even see it. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. That's the channel, Rustin757. I always remind people what happened. Yeah, that's a shame what they did to the Mom Pass family. What's up, Ron? Commissioner of Clown World. He uh, he is inbred. He's an inbred Cuban dude. Well, I don't know. Well, oh, the Ripper is Cuban. I don't know what uh, Silo. I don't know what that guy is. Lilo, Phony Tony. I don't know. I don't know what nationality he is. Come on, bro. What's up? Yeah. Tony, you're a bitch, Tony. You're a bitch. I couldn't make out who that was in the background. So somebody leave me a comment. Tell me who you think it was. Ah, oh, it's funny how the person that doesn't attack families just said, we got your whole family. Man, but then they have the... What a hypocrite. How can anybody, besides some miserable people and like, listen, if you're in his chat supporting this shit, uh, donating, cheering him on, I don't know how you could do that shit, man. That's some fucking unbelievable the balls to go live and say that they don't attack families. Yeah, because if your family started getting... One day, somebody might find out who you are, and you're not going to like it. So never support a channel that just keeps putting up people's families, man. <laughs> What's up, buddy? That sounded like him. I don't know. That sounded like Tony Sago to me, right? It did. Yeah, Benson Harris, Rustin757 is my other channel. I've had that before this. Maybe I'm wrong, but it sounded like Silo to me. Yeah, it did sound like we can't prove it, but we're not voice experts, but it did sound like to me too, as I you know. <laughs> He's gonna break Tony Pizza's face now. <laughs> hey, what's up with Sub, buddy? <laughs> he did, she's talking ah, to Mr. Baddish. Hold on a minute. I wanna click on what he said right there. Wait a They can't wait to put up my eighty year old parents and my kids. That's a shame. That's a fucking shame. What's up, BK? Uh, BK's uh, uh, another person. Uh, you know, there's only like, three people on here that actually went to fucking to show somebody what's up. After they threatened to shoot BK and Bay 8, those guys like literally were going to fight with Gunsmoke and tell him stop. But he hid behind the blinds. Fucking punks. These guys, these old freaks making threats. They got no balls. Family, yo. Can we start naming names? Just gonna find out what you've been doing here on YouTube, bitch. Wow. Oh, your whole fucking family. This fucking guy's what retarded. Family? He doesn't realize he's fucking what? giving himself up right now. This was a wonderful stroke of genius by the maniac pizza. Pizza's a total maniac. I don't know where his crazy maniac brain can... Great job, our beats. See, that's what he's always about. So people getting harassed by him, if you do, like, and he's finding all these names from his wife's work. And I know Pizza did call up the work. What he should have done was just been very nice and talk to them and explained it to them and, and let them listen to, to the rip his own words. If he calls them up and says... Uh, hey, ma'am or uh, sir, can you just listen to this guy threatening our uh, families and saying he's going to look them up? And one of your employees is looking up our families, all these people's families. What's up, Dom Neck? Crazy Purple Lady's got a good channel, too. What's up? Seymour, what's up, Skagnetti? Riddick, what's going down? <laughs> yeah, how about that one? He said, we're going to call your whole family, all right? But he don't involve families, right? <laughs> Listen, you can't do nothing about it, nothing. Yeah, what a hypocrite. He doesn't, he, it's not good to go after people's families. No, not good people's families. But then he, what a fucking hypocritical stooge. Nothing. Your whole family's going to know about you, bitch, what you've been doing on YouTube. In order to let his whole family know what he's been doing on YouTube, that means he has to contact the family and harass them like he did to the mom pet. His family never forget that. Oh, he's got to be drinking. Really? Really? This has got to be a recording. It's got to be a recording. Oh, it's not a recording. See, 
Slow Flow so wrapped up into this phone call because he thinks he has Mr. Batters. But notice how he's talking. He hears nothing in his surroundings. All he's focused on is attack and attacking, attack. Oh, we need to hear that one more time. Yes, he said everybody. We're going to put them with dicks. Wow. All right? Been saying it for a year now. That's what they're dying to do to my kids just wait and see it's bound to happen that's what they did to angels children and shit and a lot of other people's kids too and family members they would put uh phalluses on them and shit like scumbags is that is that is that all you got to say yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's the it's full, it's full name assassino cuts it off but mobland very correct mobland the harassment of Pizza's mom was evil, and they are scumbags. What they did to that—that that woman was eighty years old, man, eighty years old. Who does that? Same way, like I don't agree with oh, harassing anybody's family, man. Even like the Ripper, well, his friend, like no, or, like go to the streets, his old father. Leave those people alone. Any of these old folks, there's no reason to do that. What's up, Marky Mark? All these years in the street, the other be in the room, Juvie, neither heard, not one, or can do, drop a threat, saying, I'm going to call you over. Yeah, and it's amazing. Yeah, you're doxing the wrong guy, you dumb fucking monkey. No, we're not doxing the wrong guy, you piece of shit. Don't work like that, bitch. Yeah, you don't you work are. like that. You've done that. You've doxed the wrong. Like, you don't shouldn't dox people at all, but you dox the wrong people, you fucking dummy. Because you've got no beards. Yo, no, I got you. Slow Fu said it don't work like that, but it seems like every day he's doxing the wrong person. And love him or hate him, you gotta give it to Tony Pizza, cause Tony Pizza got, got him. He did, he did. <laughs> no, I got you. Uh, we got you. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, we got you. Hold on, hear that thing? <laughs> did you hear what he said? We got you. Do you know what we means? Meaning him and his wife. His wife looked up their information at work. We got you. You got to listen to the little details. We got you, motherfucker. What's the difference between Harambe and a refrigerator? A refrigerator doesn't fucking cry when you take the meat out. What's up? What you guys going to do? This guy. You can't do shit about it, bro. Nothing. We know you're right. Oh, you're right. You're in North Carolina, bitch. You're going to hate to take What are you, little Wayne? You know, you want biatch, sniatch, how we are? Like, what the fuck? Biatch? What are you, fucking Snoop Doggy Dog? 1992, Warren G and Nate Dogg's going to regulate. Tony Silo and Tony Soflo are going to masturbate. Together, that is. Shit. Movie star. Oh, my God. Ugh. I took his pants down and let my prick explode. Put it in his back ass and I'm walking free. In North Carolina, same spot, right there. What you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> what, that's all you gonna do? You're gonna suck a big black dick. And, and it's always and notice this with Harambe. It always resorts to people to black penises. Why? We've seen Harambe in wigs dancing femininely. We've seen him in makeup. Uh, I, I wish I had that picture. Maddie's shown it before, where he's got like a ponytail coming out of the top of his head, makeup, and all like weird fucking eyeliner. The guy's a fucking freak, man. <laughs> and 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 he's got over 13, 14 different wigs. What kind of man has fourteen wigs? He's drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> Yeah, he is drunk. He's drunk, giving uh, himself up. That's that's Jorge what's Espinosa. Up? Your mother's going down. Yeah, but Jorge Espinosa is the one who's been looking people up and torturing people's families. Disgusting. What's up, uh, Cleveland Colleones? God bless you and the family. So had a toss. So it, it had, something had to go down. Some sort of love. Uh, it's a shame. It's a coward move. Yeah, I don't. I hear you. If that's the real mock, I hear you, mock. I hear that's not the real mock because mock has a wrench. That's a fake shoe mock. Okay, somebody took his wrench. Yeah, your mother. Your mother. That's not really mock. Monroe, have a good one, man. Good night. Thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. 
black ops. No, see, it's not called that. It's called gay ops. When people are doing all this doctrine, like uh, the Rippish channel is full of gay ops, gay operations, meaning like looking people, all that fun like shit, doxing people. Your mother's, your mother's sucking on that dick. Fuck your whole bitch. <laughs> fuck your whole side too. Yeah, fuck all you guys. He's got, <laughs> look, he's got a crew of people on there saying sexual things about an old woman. Is that Tony Silo in the background? Is that the fake Tony Silo? <laughs> it sounded like him. Sounded like Tony Silo. What's me? up, Tommy? Well, Tommy boy, how you doing, man? Hey, but notice how slow flow's always talking about dick. <laughs> Wait, what happened there, Mick? Hold on. Hold on a second. I gotta click on this thing. He sent seven cops to Pizza's door Monday. Oh, he's a cop caller, rat motherfucker, without a doubt. Uh, look at the recording where he's telling everybody to to call the FBI and Angel Gotti. Like, call the call the FBI and a grandmother for what? Like, I don't get it. Why would you call the cops and a grandma for what? It makes no sense. He's a rat, stool pigeon, scumbag. <laughs> Now? This is like, listen to him. What's up, baby? Like me now. This is not funny. Not into like, it's fucking weak shit. Why did you hear that? He's going to go piss on your grandparents' graves. Like you can't, there's a million things you can make, make fun of pizza for. You know, same with me. A million things you can make fun of people for, right? But it goes right to, I'm going to piss on graves and all that degenerate shit. Kathy Groover, what's up? Grooving, grooving, grooving. Dance machine, dance machine. Now I'm going to find out where your grandparents are buried, bitch. We're going to piss on it. How about that one? I don't know who that was. That didn't sound like a trans bow right there. But whoever said that was a scumbag. I had to mute it again because he was putting a name out yeah, there. Yeah, and Assassino mutes it when they drop the names. Here, but listen, they're going to go pee on people's graves. <laughs> it's just totally... Really disgusting. It is. <laughs> Look at them laughing right at them. Shit. It is. You're, you're, you're live. Stop grabbing, grabbing all, you, all the people that give you money, bro. We're going to find them, uh, Tony P. Yeah, That's that. It. All the people that give you money, we're going to find them. Like, these guys would be thrown off YouTube if YouTube really enforced their rules. 80 years old. <laughs> and then they even said it. 80 years old. Wow. Pizza told them you're alive. <laughs> but seriously, doesn't it sound like they're trying to contact people behind the scenes, like subscribers? Are. That's really low. That's what they've I mean, been how doing. How low could you go? And people still support this. It's crazy. The drug you fuckers crazy, bro. How you, how you like them apples? How you think you're fucking with, man? A cyber bully. <laughs> yeah. What? A cyber bully. Bitch? You're a cyber bully. A hundred percent. I'll say it again. Slow Flow is the biggest cyber bully on social media by far. You're the black maggot. You're the you're black maggot. You're the black maggot that's going to jail. No, I, I, no I'm your mother. I'm your mother. I'm your mother. I'm your mother. Remember when they were talking about the phone call they had with Tony Pizza's mom? And how slow flow kept saying, oh, I won't talk about his mom because she's such a nice lady. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that was on screen. Well, Cali acts behind the screen, though. Yep. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? You don't like it, huh? You don't like it, huh? Ah, how about it? This ain't nothing, baby. <laughs> nah, Pizza don't like it. He loves it. <laughs> Just see a little smile on Pizza's face towards the end. <laughs> He's got him. How about it? This ain't nothing, baby. Your whole family. Who? I'm gonna call your whole, your whole family. I'm gonna call them up and I'm gonna let them know what the fuck you're doing here. Your kids. If you have any, I'm gonna find out all those names I got there. I'm gonna find out each and every one of their phone numbers, where they live, and everything. I'm gonna put it all up there, bro. The way they work, everything, uh, Mr. Battis. Do you understand that? You heard him. Your whole family. I'm gonna contact them all. Their kids. Everyone. This guy don't care. He's a fraud. I'm telling you, he's a doxing fraud. Are you fucking stupid? Yes, he is. No, no, your mother's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that that your was a good stupid. one. 
see, this is why they have to do degenerate shit like dox people, because they have no bant whatsoever. Yeah. None. No banter. They bant like a fourth grader. <laughs> yeah, well said. That's what you get for fucking with people online. Uh -huh. Now, are you going to apologize, bitch, or are you going to suck a big black dick? What you is that do? the pot calling the kettle black? And once again, does it always go to the big black penises? Man, this guy's a fucking sick phenoid. Look at his I face. Huh? What you gonna do? You gonna suck a big Cuban black dick or you gonna apologize? This guy's always talking about black dicks. I don't know. That's all he talks about. He tells me a lot right there. <laughs> sure does. You know you know you sound like you you know you sound like Tony Pizza shit. You know that right? You you what are you guys brothers? Yeah, no, it is pizza, Tony? you dummy. This is Tony <laughs> Pizza, you dumb fuck. You've been calling my phone texting me. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, pizza got him. He just realized now that he's talking to Tony Pizza. Pizza got you. <laughs> this is the guy who's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Hey, Tony Pizza. Yeah, what do you want? I've been listening to you rattle on about bad as you dumb fuck. Pizza, not working. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know it was me. What a dumb fuck. And I got the proof on the fucking film. He's doxing the wrong people, going after the wrong fucking people. Yeah, it's just another day in the office for a slow flow. That's all he does is dox the wrong people. Yep. <laughs> what do you want, you stupid fuck? What do you want? You're alive. You're alive. We've been talking to you. We've been hearing you run your mouth, uh, thinking uh, that you got Mr. Adams with some poor Steve Simp. No, no, we got that with somebody. We got Mr. Adams. He we got just you. made Harambe look like Jimmy the fucking helmet on steroids. Oh, man, Tony on beats. He's a sick fuck, but he got him right. Let me tell you something. Hate pizza. Love him or hate him. Pizza just Fucking smashed Harambe. He just power bombed him in the middle of the ring. Unbelievable. Fucking pizza got him good here. Harambe is not a smart guy. Like he's a fucking low. Like number one, he said the girl accused me of rape and I went and beat her with a pool stick. Any normal guy in here, if some girl accused you of rape, the last thing you're going to do is go assault her. You're just going to hope that the cops find out that she falsified her report and she'll get in trouble for that. Like, because that's fucked up. You never accuse a man of rape if he didn't do that. You don't go beat her with a pool stick. That's just, and he bragged about it and said he, he, he loved it. He'd do it again. This man hates women. He finds insecure women to live off of. No, it's my phone, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza got him. <laughs> well, you know my opinion, of Tony P. It was a total. I do believe this. It was a total pizza party with pepperoni and anchovies, and Harambe got toasted. Now you know my opinion of Tony Pizza. He's a nut, right? But he kills the Rat Squad, and he got slow flow perfect. He did. Just listen. Cause you ain't, you're, you're a fucking idiot. You're, you're, call, you're calling my phone thinking you're talking to Mr. Baddish. You doxed the wrong fucking people. What do you do? What do you do? Bro? He's got you live. He, does he got him live? We live, bitch. He got his live. Uh, hey, Jen, Jen. Oh, this is great. On. I don't know if that's the original. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know if that's the original Jen Jen, but hey, Jen Jen, I've missed you. Glad to see you. Yeah, if you haven't watched, you got a lot to catch up on, Jen Jen. How they just keep calling Tony Pizza back to further incriminate themselves. Yep. <laughs> and Pizza, hold on to that tape. People, hold on to this. They fuck with your family. Fucking do the right thing. <laughs> just keep. Calling him back. <laughs> Tywin Lannister. Mighty Tywin. What's up, Mighty Tywin? The Lord of Lannister. Yeah, I've missed you. 
I, I want to give you a wrench, but I just don't know if it's you and somebody's just like faking like it's you. But I'll, uh, I'll uh, leave me a message and say something and I'll go back in the stream and do it. Uh, he's laughing. Look how much he's laughing. Yeah, I'm laughing. Because you fucking busted yourself. What's up? See, that's my phone. What's that's up, your bro? fake number. Tony, that, what's up? That, that's your what's voice. Up, Tony? Tony, you know, Tony, we love you, bro. We love your booty. We love I your mean, booty? he doesn't realize it'll sink in that he texted me. Yep. I got him live with this number. Pizza fucking got him perfectly, that's dude. That's Tony Soflo calling with this number. Okay, got him live, and I got him trying to dox. Assassinino blocked that out. I got him texting this to this phone, pretending to be FBS, and then trying to extort me to keep my information off of YouTube because I told him, that I was Mr. Baddish on my phone. <laughs> you got to give it to Tony Pizza. He got so flow good. <laughs> he so set him did. right up. <laughs> and slow flow fell right into the trap because for him, it's just another day in the office. Yep. Doxing people. Well, he thinks he's doxing people, but never gets. Well, let's say another day in Tina's basement. Another day in the basement. Another day in the basement, you fucking old fucking creepo sexual abuser woman beater with a pool stick torch stealing women's social security numbers you freak and then you're trying to bully this woman into being your friend and trying to have people uh you're fucking nuts around eh? that's it right <laughs> and there you have it everyone so let's let's hear everyone say they didn't see this right and let's see people still support this guy <laughs> all right so have a great all right, God bless you, Assassino. Great video. We're going to talk for a few minutes in here. You guys can uh, put your two cents about this shit. This show's nuts, man. And this is the this was the first of uh, episode one of uh, Transbo, Phony Tony, Lilo, Sh Circus Extravaganza, episode one of The Great Lying King. He'll be singing Ding Dong, the Ripper's gone, the Ripper's gone, Ding Dong, the Ripper's really gone. Unbelievable. Uh, we got an Emmy video coming up soon. Shortly, we got an Emmy. My name is Emmy Kalmanba. I want to eat my eyes. Potato. <laughs> Fucking nuts, man. And you know what? This shit's just like unbelievable. Like I said, YouTube is a bunch of fucking retards. Why don't they enforce their rules? Why have the rules if you don't enforce them? I don't get it. Why have rules if you don't enforce them? Tomas, what's up, bro? Why have them? Mighty Tywin. Like, see, you got to send Gregor to, to fucking, to raid the fucking Riverlands again, honestly. Uh, you know what? You're right, up. Syndicate. All he does is look people up and put people's families up. All this bullshit. All this bullshit. Yeah, pizza went full Niccolo Machiavelli on his ass. Pizza went all the way back to fucking Florence and Nico Machiavelli his ass with the, the Medici. Sofa was on overnight show right after this, doxing the wrong family. Wow. Fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, pizza got him. And then uh, Ripper tried to play like, hey, no big deal. I knew it was all along. Yeah, true colors. It's so immature, terrible. And then links go on. It's only two. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's only YouTube. No, it's not. They're fucking with pizzas and other people's real life. They took Josie's social security number. You, can, you know any fucked up shit you can do to people uh, with their social security numbers? You can, like... That's why, God bless her, to going to the police, she had to. If, if that woman did not go to the police over this, they could have opened up stuff in her account. Good for her, and good for her, and showing a stiff up lip like a true fucking Brit, and not bending to these people. 
not bending to these people. Because if you don't, if you let, if so let's say Josie wasn't who she was and she let the Ripper get away with it and like accepted his fake apology, well, he would just keep doing it to her. Or she'd have to walk in the Ripper straight line and then he'd torture her again and torture all this. So by doing this, the Ripper, which is an amazing job by her, uh, he won't be able to do this much longer. No, she's not scared and good for her. You know, Vito, you couldn't have said it better, bro. Calling Pete's mother is disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, my God. How many? <laughs> Look at these guys are sick. We got Joff, Tywin Lannister, Aegon Targaryen. We got all the Song of Ice and Fire in here. The real mock. Ah, that's the real mock. Really? I, I didn't think. Uh, I thought it was a fake mock shoe mock. But. I know. Uh, Uncle Edwin, yeah, tampering with someone's social security is a federal felony, exactly. And that's why God bless Josie for doing the right thing. We got a rogue wrench. Uh, that's no problem. I'll just take care of it. And God bless you, Uncle Edwin. And uh, make sure people go uh, check Uncle Edwin's channel. Without a doubt. Well, that's why I wrenched everybody up and see uh, what moron goes rogue. I'll unblock everybody. Don't worry. He's going to be doing it accidentally. Lord Tywin of the Westerlands. All right, folks, this has gone a long time. So thank you for coming to the first uh, Trensbo Circus Lilo Phony Tony Extravaganza. Simpin, it's a mod wrench. Yep, I know who's got a mod wrench. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it yet, without a doubt. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. And please sub to the channels at the bottom. Uh, leave some comments on the channel if you can. Hashtag we push back. Justice Fallon Kaiser. Share it. Uh, hit the like. Oh, thanks, PK. All them good things. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Aegon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Stay go, Brooklyn Jim, my brother. Stay go, Pony Boy. It's like the way you dig those sunsets, Pony Boy. Dowdy will never get that. Good luck with Cherry Valens. She was beautiful. Vito. And yes, Claudio right here. Sub to this guy too. Claude, that's Edwin's channel. But Claudio, can you please drop your channel? If you people are into music, check out this guy. He's a music composer. He makes music. Guy's like a fucking genius. Check him out. He's also a big hot. And I appreciate you helped me with my dog. I appreciate that. God bless you. Sub to Edwin's channel. Before I shut this down, Please drop his channel and please support this man. Uh, please support uh, Claudio and Uncle Edwin. My boy Mob Rats 1 right here. There it is. This is his channel right here. Please sub to this channel. And R.I.P. Tony Bennett is right, Gizmo. Where, where is that from Giz? R.I.P. Tony Bennett. Rags to riches. Albanian Syndicate, Jason, Jane, Rick. What you talking about, Willis? Uh, no, it doesn't. I don't believe it does. Nope. Not over here where I'm at. I, I can't speak for anything else, but where I'm at, that hasn't been around in a long, long time. <laughs> you should direct your grandson. <laughs> Come on, no family feuds. You fucking Lannisters, man. You Lannisters are always at your each other's throats. Come on, Tywin. There's a wepushback.com. If you want to get any info on these stool pigeons and these lion informants, just go to wepushback.com. I'm out of here. God bless everybody. There's Josie's channel. Give her some support. Go buy her book if you'd like. Go check out Claudio and Edwin. God bless you all. Good night.